Hello, hello. We are back at it again with some uh, Trails in the Reverie. No, happy Saturday, man. happy Sunday. Time for some honey. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys have been having a good one. Hold on. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do here in Armorica. Crazy as times are, this place always manages to put my mind at ease. I know what you mean. Especially so, now that I know you're safe. <sighs> Why don't we take a look around? Dense Lloyd. We're good here. How broke are we? 2000 Mira. All good. Hey there, Ellie. How you feeling? Hello, Gofan. I suppose I'm hanging in. I'm more concerned about the evacuees. How are they doing? It's hard to say, really. The people who came from the city are feeling more uneasy than any of us. I'm happy to open up all our rooms, but we only have so many. It isn't ideal for them to all have to share. It's very true. I'm sorry for the burden we've undoubtedly placed on you. We got nothing to apologize for, Ellie. You did the right thing. I'll do what I can to keep them comfortable, like making them snacks in my spare time. It's not much, but it's something. It's easy to overlook how stressful this situation must be for the evacuees as well. We need to resolve this as soon as possible. Dark Ready told me to attack you. If I were on Twitch, I'm, I would set up a button for that. <laughs> That's one thing I really like about Twitch, how much like interactivity there is, but... Yeah, the VODs. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Anyways, glad to see you made it, brother. I'm so glad you're all right, Risha. First I was separated from Daddy, and then you disappeared. I was worried sick about you. <laughs> I'm sorry for worrying you, Sansan. I'm so relieved to see you're all Whoa. right, too. That's how they say it? Sansan? Risha, don't ever leave me like that again. Because as long as you're here... I feel like I can overcome anything. I know things may seem scary now, but we can pull through this. You're right. But... I... Well, this is a heartwarming sight. Gustavo? Hello, Gustavo. How are you doing today? The SSS. Does this mean you're going to be leaving again? We don't have a plan set in stone yet, but most likely, yes. I still don't uh, know whether Ilya and Sully are alright. I'll do whatever I must so that we can perform together again. I thought you might say that. I'm sorry, Shanshan. Or, Shanshan? I know it must feel like we're ripping your best friend from you after only just uh, you only just got her back. But there are people who need Risha's help, us included. We need her with us if we're gonna secure Crossbow's future and freedom. I know it won't be easy, but we're asking you to have faith in us. We promise we'll take good care of Risha and give her all the support we possibly can. Sorry for putting you through the uh, through so much. I really am. I promise I'll come back safe as soon as I can. And when I do, I'll bring everyone from Long Lao back with me. Okay, but please be careful. I'm gonna hold you to uh, I'm gonna hold you all to that. You better look after her. We will. Yo, she got that- she got that curse in her! <laughs> I should be the one looking after her. Hmm? Uh, what's wrong, Risha? Were you gonna say something? It was nothing. Was that my imagination? Bro! 
Chen Chen, uh, Yandere arc? Possessive Yuri moment? <laughs> Bochi pride? Good to see you again. Did all of you evacuate as well? Uh, 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 did all of you evacuate as well? Something like that. Is it just the two of you here? Where are the others? Well, everyone headed out of town to fish when we uh, when the signing ceremony was supposed to happen. <gasps> Saved by the fishing. <laughs> we were split up once people started to evacuate. I wouldn't have managed to get away if it weren't for Copan. We we're supposed to have so much fun together. Why did it come to this? It's gonna be okay, Salem. I didn't know what to do when I was first drafted, but I still managed to come home to everyone. I'm sure as long as we don't give up, we'll be able to fish together again someday. <sighs> yeah, you're right. And this is my hometown, so I'm sure there'll be, uh, there's plenty I can do to help. That's the spirit. I can combine my fishing skills and the survival techniques I learned in the army to pitch in, too. Well then, they're nice spirits. Inspiring, isn't it? Let's follow their lead. I bet we could fish here. A no bait moment. We're broke. Hold on. We're rich. <laughs> and we're broke again. No. Bye. This will be good. So fun story. While I was on my runs. I ran into like an older guy. He gave me a bag of lemons. It's a nice catch. There's some pretty big lemons. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole story. <laughs> I got flagged down while I was wondering uh, while I was doing my run. And then he was like, "Hey, hey, do you want some lemons?" And here I am, with like, like. 30 or so lemons. <laughs> Random lemons from a stranger? Yes. He seemed nice, though. Well, look what the cat- uh, blah, blah, blah. look what the cat dragged in. You, uh, the young folk of the village have been keeping me up to date. That includes, of course, everything that happened in the city. You folks had it rough. <laughs> We're sorry for worrying you, Chief Tolta. I owe you so much for taking in my grandfather and the refugees. As a secretary, please allow me to express my deepest gratitude. Come now, lass. Now more than ever, we need to extend a helping hand in times of need. It was the speaker who fought for us when the goons were trying to set up camp, uh, set up the convalescent home and military camp. The goons. We're taking back goons. Yeah. Yeah, I plan, uh, like over the week. I'm, I'm getting some new, like, baking stuff. I want to make some, some like, lemon biscuits and, uh, give them to him. Since free lemons, you know. Uh, not to mention all the times the SSS has helped us in the past. <laughs> We're only doing our job, sir. Bear me the humility. We've been in your debt ever since. Not once have you abandoned the weak. Nope, you fought for us all. Mm. That means a lot to me. You okay, Ellie? If you ever need a hand with something, anything at all, you just let us know. We'll come running. We may be a rinky-dink little farm village, but we got your backs all the same. <laughs> we couldn't ask for more better allies. Thank you so much. Boy Scout moment when you open up a lemonade stand. <laughs> There's so many people supporting us. We can't really afford to let them down. I just know that we're going to take Crossbow back and find Kia. I hope so. She's kind of going through it, huh? So, would you mind asking, uh, would you mind me asking what happened after the ceremony, Ellie? You haven't been yourself since we ran into you outside the village. I don't deserve to have the villagers speaking so kindly about me. Not after I turned my back on Kia. Oh? What? Please forgive me, Lloyd. 
It's not Cecile's fault that Kia isn't here. Not at all. It's entirely mine for abandoning her. Hmm. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure she did all she could. Too. Is Lloyd? He'll be fine. Risha's with him. Now come over. Ah! Run, or you'll get caught up in it. Ah! Kia! No. Kia! Kia! Where are you? <laughs> And that's when Papa Grandfather Grandpapa Ellie, got shot. Go! I'll be fine. We'll see each other again soon, I promise. There are other people who need you. Yeah. Okay, I mean like she just kinda disappeared though, so like I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I could have ran to her voice and grabbed her hand, but I chose not to. I don't deserve to call myself her guardian, or even be a part of the SSS. So that's what happened. It's going to be all right, Ellie. Key is just fine. I'm sure of it. How can you be so sure? Because she's our daughter. She's got to be fine. We've done nothing but force hardship on her ever since we returned from the Azure Tree. While we fought for our home's freedom, she stood by us and helped however she could, despite being separated from her best friend. And never once did she not have a smile on her face. No matter how hopeless things felt, Kia never stopped smiling for us. She never gave up. We were the ones who swore to protect her. And there she was again, being the one who protected and supported us. Just like always. You're right. She always has. We were only able to continue smiling ourselves because her smile was giving us hope. I think that's exactly what she was trying to do the day we were separated, too. I'll be fine! We'll see each other again soon, I promise! There are other people who need you! I couldn't see her face, but I could feel how desperate she was to encourage me. Even though she must have been so scared, how can one little girl be so positive? I'd like to say that's how she's always been. But we both know she's even stronger now than she was before. Kia isn't the same girl she was when we first met. She's no longer powerless to fight against a terrible fate that was decided without her consent. She's one of us now, in every sense of the word. Always with us, always fighting and smiling. In just two years, she's grown and become the Kia Bannings we all know and love. That's why, if she says she'll be all right, and that we'll see each other again, then I know we can believe her. So there's only one thing left for us to do, right? Yes, you're right again. God damn. <laughs> I think deep down, part of me still thought of her as a helpless child that needs us to look after her. I should have known better. Should have seen that as we were getting stronger, she was right there with us, getting stronger, too. Well, I'm hardly in any position to judge when it comes to being overprotective of Kia. But the thing is, she put her trust in us. So it's only right we do the same thing when she asks, right? You're on fire, huh? Right again. There's so much for us to do right now. The only way we're going to manage is by taking it one step at a time. Kia told me she would be okay. 
and that there are other people who need me. I'm going to place my faith in that, so I'm sure we'll be reunited as long as we stay the course. That's the spirit. It's only a matter of time before our paths cross again, so we don't want to disappoint her when we meet up. I'd say we owe it to her as her guardians, and as her friends. This is so like you, Lloyd. Always <gasps> encouraging me when I need it most. It's been this way for a long time, hasn't it? The song is back! <laughs> that night on the roof, when I thought of leaving the SSS, even when I decided to become Grandfather's secretary during the occupation. Sometimes I wonder if the only reason I've been able to keep going these last few years is because I knew you were with me. Words can't express how grateful I truly am. I'm flattered, but I don't think I did anything particularly special. I've known for a long time that your future was going to lead you to politics. And I know you'll make Crossbell and the world a better place. So I'm happy to do whatever I can to give you a push in the right direction if you need it. Is that the only reason? I hope the reason you look after me so much isn't just for the good of Crossbell. If Lloyd doesn't send it. I thought it would sound cooler if I put it that way. But you got me. I think my feelings are a little more straightforward than that. I want to do what I can to help you realize your dreams because... You're Ellie. You're important to me. God damn! It's fucking Riz! <laughs> That's the real reason. <laughs> Thanks. I know I forced that out of you, so forgive me for being a little selfish. I think that's just what I needed to hear to begin looking forward again. You always make me feel like nothing is impossible, not even getting our home back. Because nothing ever is. And I'll be right here to tell you as many times as it takes. Yeah, you're important to me, parentheses, as a friend, or, or double asterisk, as a friend. <laughs> I love you, Ellie, parentheses, as a friend. <laughs> All right, anything we can do from here. Any, uh -huh. All right. It's my turn. Quick little check. All right, I think we can go to the objective. So this is new. This wasn't here back then. They must have built this during, uh, during the, uh, cause they said they turned this place into like a medical area, right? During Cold Steel 4. Thank you so much for saving my son and the other children earlier. Your friend came by earlier and carried a lot of heavy medical supplies into the clinic too. It makes me wonder if he has experience working in healthcare. He seems to know exactly what supplies we need. <gasps> Is that Rex back there? It was a blessing, really. You've all been such tremendous help since you arrived. So, that's what Lecter's been up to. He seems to have been caught off guard about what's happening in Crossbell as the rest of us. I think we can trust him for now. Rex! Well, well, well. Look what we have here. If it isn't the SSS, is Lloyd Bannings. You're a photographer from Erebonia, if I remember right. That's right. Surprised you remember someone like me. I've been in the village the last couple of days trying to scope things out. I figure I had to be in the thick of things if I wanted to keep an eye on the city and the guardsmen. So here I am trying to figure out the gaps in the patrol routes to find a way to sneak in. I bet I'm not the only reporter sniffing, that around, uh, sniffing around either. You better believe my scoop's gonna be the best. I should have known. The press really is the same in every country. <laughs> Rex is gonna give us our in. 
I think we've seen everything there is to see in the village now. Is it time to visit the clinic? There you two are. Hey. Hmm. Rain's pretty loud. Hey, Risha. Finished catching up with Tantan? Yes, I wanted to see how long she, uh, I wanted to see how she's doing, so it didn't take long. The two of you are going to visit Speaker McDowell, correct? Would you mind if I joined you? Uh, not at all. Thank you for keeping him in your thoughts. Lloyd, Ellie, and Risha entered the clinic as Ellie showed them the way to Speaker McDowell's room. Cough drop! Grandfather, it's me! Oh, Ellie, do come in! It's good to see you again, Mr. Speaker. But are you sure it's all right for you to be sitting up? I do still feel some lingering pain, but they told me just this much would be all right. I owe the goddess my deepest thanks. It brings me joy to see you are all doing well. Particularly you, Ellie. You're looking much brighter than you were before. Well, I... It's true. I do feel much better now. I think Lloyd has something to do with that. <laughs> Lloyd hit that, uh, inspiration check. I figured. Playboy here wasn't about to get, uh, let her stay down in the dumps. You know I can hear you, right? <clears throat> in any case, I'm glad to hear you're getting better, Mr. Speaker. We'll be going, hopefully back later for some. Sounds good, brother. Thank you for stopping by, Jeremy. I always appreciate the company. Hope you have a good one. So am I. But please don't overexert yourself and try to rush your recovery. After everything that happened in Crossbell, I don't know what I would do if something were to happen to you too. Oh, hold on. So this was a thought that I had. I'm gonna do a real quick little like a... Let me see. Lloyd Ennings Bushy. <laughs> I think I had like a, uh, a thing for this earlier, but... It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do something real quick. Promise, like two second, two second joke. All right. I could probably get a better picture of my, my plushie, but. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Fill out the background so I can go ahead and see all the spots that need masking. We're doing it for the bit! And we're almost done too. Okay, new. Drop this guy in here, export as a PNG. OBS image Lloyd Yeah, we just keep them right there All right. Oh. She's right. Your condition's stable now, but the clinic's still short on staff and medicine. 
the best thing you can do for yourself uh, and us is by getting plenty of bed rest. I will. Thank you for looking after me. I only wish there was something I could do in return. My powerlessness is simply galling. Please don't blame yourself, Grandfather. I cannot apologize enough for the people of Crossbell and my fellow former Ironblood's actions. I also wish to make clear on no uncertain terms that the Imperial government abhors what happened and will not be um, was not involved. The illegal occupation of Crossbell is the work of Rufus Alborea and his alone. Fear not. I was not under the impression that Erebonia was responsible for this. I could never imagine Emperor Eugent allowing actions at this point. Allowing his actions at this point. It wouldn't make sense for the Empire to stage an occupation of Crossbell now after willingly withdrawing its forces not long ago. Though, that only begs the question of why Rufus is doing this. Or... Or why he has collaborators in this, Ebon Defense Force, backing him. Damn, so we know everyone and Ilya. I don't know if that's Ilya, though. That's kind of like a big sw like swap, no? I can't speak for the two we didn't recognize. I can speak for one of them. That, that right there is the Emperor. But I can't wrap my head around Deirdre and Garcia helping him. The former CEO of the IBC and an ex-Jaeger turned Mafia boss. It's quite a pair of convicts he's working with. Each of them has uh, a personal history with the SSS. I've also crossed blows with the Killing Bear as Ian before. Come to think of it, he helped you when you were in prison, didn't he? Honestly, peak moment. One of my favorite moments in the games. God. How so good. He did, which is why I'm having a hard time understanding his involvement. Yeah, when they hit that inevitable struggle uh, super range while we're breaking out of the prison with Garcia. God. Uh, they seem like they both were ready to turn a new leaf. Why do this, Theodore? About that, I had the chance to confront him briefly before I escaped the city. Uh, you did? Grandfather! Cecile! He's been shot! Hold on. I need to stop the bleeding. Deirdre, wait! It's good to see you again, Ellie. You're looking well. Why? Why are you doing this? What possessed you to play a part in such foolishness? Did you not learn anything from your short-lived presidency? Oh, I learned much, I assure you. That is why I am here today. Back then, my daughter played me like a fiddle. But this time, I am following my own convictions. And that is what led me to join the new unified government. She played us like a damn fiddle! <laughs> you hopeless fool. Uncle Dieter. How can you truly believe that this is the right path? Surely you can see. Looking at you and your friends now, you don't stand a chance against the Supreme Leader. I'd advise you take the time to reevaluate what justice means to you. You and your compatriots both. Really? He's still on about that? He always had a raging hard on for that kind of stuff. But. I want you to know that you can still trust us, Mr. Speaker. We'll get to the bottom of their motivations and do what we have to to take Crossbell back. We won't allow for that, uh, the independence we worked so hard for to slip through our grasp like that. That's right. We're not going to give up on our dreams so easily. We can achieve anything when we all work together. The entire SSS. That's never changed. Thank you. It's reassuring to know we have your help. I'm ready to lend my strength to the cause as well. Yes, I can lend a hand too. Please take care of yourself, Lloyd. I don't want to have to treat you too. I will, Cecile. Promise. Let's go, uh, let's go think on what our best course of action will be from here. I'm ashamed there's nothing more I can do for them. They've been shouldered, uh, they've shouldered what should have been my burden time and time again. Please, don't blame yourself, Mr. Speaker. 
They're doing what any crossbellman would have, uh, would have if they had the power. I Although... know Lloyd and his friends can take care of themselves, but please, keep lighting their way, Guy. Damn. Guy mentioned. Oh, wait, I forgot my phone. <laughs> There's still much to be concerned about, but I don't plan to sit here and watch quietly. I want to recover as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Lecter, I still need to thank you for your help before. You checked his temperature and changed his bedsheets in no time. You look like a natural while doing it. You have any experience? Nah, not any formal kind. I just know the basics they teach to military personnel. It was just the natural thing to do at the time. You don't have to thank me. You insist, but I appreciate it nonetheless. I promise you the speaker will be fine with us, Lloyd. I'm certain you must have a lot weighing on your mind, but you have to keep going. You're right, Cecile. Now isn't the time to lose focus. Promise me you won't worry yourself sick when we're gone. Okay, Lloyd. It's a promise. Guide check. Watch out! Yo, already? What the? Where'd that come from? Are we under attack? There's a note on it. Oh, it's like those like arrows like tied with a note. Don't think so. Nor do I. Take a closer look. We've been we've been uh, delivered a message. A, a letter? I never seen anything like the script though. Looks like an old school style of writing from the East. I'm guessing it's coded. Precisely. I've used this exact code in my work as Yin before. It says... The Dancer and former Zero Child are in our care. Come to the ancient battlefield to the Southeast. We await you. Did the Heiyue do this? A note written in Eastern code delivered on a kunai meant for Yin. Not hard to figure out who it's from. Or who they have in their custody. Okay. So if the Heiyue have Ilya, then who was at the... At the, uh, the, the coup, the takeover? At least they're both alright. I told you, Kia's strong, didn't I? Still, why would they be looking after Ilya as well? Is something wrong, Lloyd? Oh, wait. You don't think this is... a ransom note, most likely. They wouldn't have waited this long to contact us without a reason. They may be under their care, but that doesn't mean they're safe. No... Ancient Battlefield's where the cult had its base, right? And say I have a good feeling about this, but you're not gonna let that stop you, huh? Of course. As long as there's a chance Key is there, no danger's too great. We'll do whatever it takes to keep her safe. I feel the same way. Not going simply isn't an option if that's where our loved ones are. That's right. Let's make sure we're fully prepared before we set off. What if Ilya... The Ilya that was there was like a simulacrum. Like a... Like Phantasma. Hmm. What's this strange feeling? <gasps> oh, does he have the the thing in his pocket too? Is something wrong, Lloyd? Sorry, I just sent something strange. It must have been my imagination. Wait, why does my pocket feel bulkier all of a sudden? <gasps> a mirror? How peculiar looking. Where'd you find it? I'm not sure. I've never seen it before. Strange as it sounds, it just appeared in my pocket out of nowhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that doesn't happen just that, uh, that doesn't just happen. I'm guessing one of the village kids slipped it in your pocket as a prank. Maybe, but I doubt any of them could pull it off without me noticing. But if that's not it, then how did it get in my pocket? I can't even hazard a guess. I feel as though I have it for a reason. 
Uh, what? What's happening? Oh, rain? The conditions Are we communicating? have been met. The road to where all may gather, to where destiny avails itself, just at the horizon, is open. Come, and sink into an illusion that mirrors the real world and extols its endless possibilities. Huh. What just happened? What? Where are we? It's some sort of white garden. Sky the third intensifies. <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? I've never seen anything like it. I'm getting the feeling there's more to this place than meets the eye, too. I mean, what kind of garden is surrounded by floating books? That's crazy that I just dropped that phantasma and then, like, here we are. <laughs> I'm not sure where we are, but it doesn't feel like the world we know. How did we even get here to begin with? It's a good question. I can't fathom how we came here either. In fact, I can't recall what uh, what I was doing before I ended up here at all. <gasps> I feel as though we were all together the moment before we arrived, but beyond that, I haven't the slightest clue what happened. Memory? Memory gaming? Well, that's just great. It's like something's blocking out my memories of before we got here. Actually, it's worse than that. It's not just my memories of right before. There's got to be a pretty good reason I was hanging I was hanging around you guys, but it beats me what it is. At least we're all on the same page about that. I feel fuzzy too. I've been trying to, uh, my best to recall what I was doing earlier today, but nothing comes to mind. My best guess is we were working together for some reason, but I'm not sure why. Regardless of how we got here, I think it's safe to assume it's affected our memories somehow. Agreed. And standing around being confused isn't going to answer any of our questions. <laughs> they have amnesia. They've been isekai'd. <laughs> uh, we should have a look around and see what we can find. So do I. If nothing else, we need to know whether the garden is safe. We may find clues as to how we arrived here as well. Sounds like we got a plan. And don't forget there are two floors of this place. Let's check them both out. We saw Rena earlier too. Are we gonna run into Rena in here? Truckman's been busy. Yeah, we're standing outside of the gate of Armorica. And... Damn, and the gang got hit like that. That's crazy. <laughs> what could this be? I'm not sure. I've never seen anything like it. The pattern on the surface kind of resembles the one in the, uh, this place's walls. It being placed on the platform in the middle makes it like uh, makes it seem important too. Doesn't appear to be active, uh, actively doing anything at the very least. Yet another mystery to solve. Let's push forward. Uh, let's push it to the back of our minds. Remember that, uh, and just remember that it's here. Yeah, hope you've been having a uh, good Saturday or Sunday, Sirius. Glad to see you hop back in. Been a minute. I've been keeping up with your videos lately. Good stuff. Good stuff. I saw that, um, you, uh, we're gonna probably be pretty light next week though, right? We will be there though, regardless. A stone pillar. I think it's some kind of device. The mysteries continue to pile up. Another one over there as well. That probably holds some significance. Let's go check it out. Hmm. This one's pretty similar to the others, but something's different about it. It does seem that way. <laughs> I saw you live and had to jump in. Missed a lot of the Cold Steel 4 stream. All good, all good. Yeah, Cold Steel 4 was pretty peak. We loved it. There must be some reason there are two of them. Safe to assume they're connected in some way. They likely related to whatever this place's purpose is. If only we knew whatever the heck that was. Hopefully we figure something out if we keep looking around. What are you doing? Hmm. 
It's a globe on some kind of pedestal. I can only assume this is meant uh, to be used for something as well. Something important by the looks of it. No reaction at all. Yeah, whatever this thing is, it's not uh, it's not on at the moment. It looks like a relic of something uh, or something, given the given the feel of the place. Hard to say for sure though. Now that you mention it, the garden does resemble an ancient ruin of sorts. There's just one problem with that theory. Yeah, everything seems too new. There's not a speck of dust on this pedestal. It looks like it was made five minutes ago. <laughs> then why isn't it active? I can't. Uh, I can think of several possibilities, but they're all just conjecture. Guess we should keep looking around. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Got a Mangaga jump scare on Twitter when you followed me. <laughs> it's like, hey, I know that guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw you recommend it on Twitter too. I was like, oh, hey. Should follow. And then here we are. Funny how the how the trails uh, collide like that. <laughs> Good old stone monument, huh? Now it's starting to come together. You figure something out? Yep, I'm 100% certain now that I don't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> Three years later and he hasn't changed a bit. And we're right back to square one. No, yeah, just seeing all the interactions between, uh, between all the casts is so great. Like, my fav- uh, some of my favorites so far has been, like, just how- how much of, like, how much is going on between, like, Machias and Dudley? Like, just them hanging out, it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, and then I think also that, uh, that moment that, uh, that, uh, Nadia and Lapis had when they were eating the, uh, the Mishi bread was just so good. I loved how much the camera was, like, jumping back and forth, just showing, uh, Lapis is kind of like, it's like, oh, but should I eat? <laughs> um, I know this is a garden, but part of me still wasn't expecting to find a tree. Let alone one as splendid as this, it seems so out of place. Looks like some kind of broadleaf tree. Never seen one with leaves, bark, or branches like this before, though. It's like something else entirely got reshaped into the form of a tree. That's an interesting perspective. Now I'm even more confused. Let's just agree that there's something unusual about it. Though that doesn't make it any different from the garden as a whole. We can't rule out it being placed here for more than just decoration. Unless my eyes are playing tricks on me, I'm pretty sure it's glowing too. The more we explore, the more mysterious this place seems to be. I suppose all we can do is keep poking around and hope everything becomes clear. The only significant tragedy is I'm aware that Kevin Kevin and Reese don't show up for what seems like forever and I miss them so much <laughs> same with like Dorothy and Niall those the, like the it's the duos the duos got a grip on me oh are we gonna have doors? Wait, actually, Sky the Third? Is this some kind of door? Yes, and it's unusually large. I wonder what's what it's doing here. It looks entirely out of place. You could say that about the books floating around too. I've been thinking about those ever since we arrived. There's something about them that's very disturbing. No kidding. And what's stranger is I can't make out any of the titles in the books, no matter how hard I look at it either. Hey yo, how you doing, Eli? That's a mystery in itself. Yo, we are uh, Sky the Third in Reverie, huh? Where else have I not been? Big, big door. A strange barrier blocks the way. Barrier mentioned? It doesn't look like we'll be able to get through here. That's unfortunate. I'm curious to know what the elevator leads to. It's not active right now either way. No use worrying about it right now. Maybe we'll figure out just how to get past this thing later. Okay, so like, I I, I think it was you, Eli, who said it in your Octopath stream, but like, I'm super duper uh, motivated to just get like a PNG of um of Lloyd and set up some sort of uh, some sort of action cue on my stream deck. So whenever I just see the word barrier, I can hit it. We'll just have like Lloyd flash on the screen. 
And then like we'll have like a little sound bite, you know, like a little like like the Prowler theme from Spider uh, Spider Verse, just like. Mm. <laughs> The mirror is enormous. And it looks remarkably similar to this one. Yeah, we would do one for like Lloyd and Barrier, uh, Reen and his like haha. -ha. And. Shoot, I don't know what I would do for like Estelle. Maybe just like Big Stick mention. Uh, come to think of it, I'm surprised I can remember even having that mirror. I do too, although I can't remember what it is or why Lloyd has it. <laughs> we got a whole lineup for a bit, absolutely. Uh, actually, did you work something out? I wouldn't go that far, unfortunately. I just remembered something that's common in Eastern folklore. It said mirrors with evil spirits in them can cause strange phenomena. It made me wonder if this mirror perhaps has some kind of strange power in it, and if that's how we were brought together here. It's pretty spooky, but just a good, uh, just as good a guess as any at this point. Need a Mishi one too? <laughs> That'd be good. Uh, this place is so weird that I wouldn't rule out anything as a possibility. Can we go through the mirror, like, a la Mario 64, like, step through? I can feel something strange coming off it, but nothing to do, uh, not doing anything for now at least. You missed Sea Root? All good, all good. We will be seeing more for sure. Uh, maybe it'll kick on or something if we do something else around here. You saying it could have conditions? If that's the case, uh, discerning those conditions could be our key to getting out of here. Let's continue to have a look around then. I think we've looked at everything. Uh, the four investigated the area further, but weren't able to find anything useful. Eventually, they returned to the plaza where they first arrived to discuss their next move. Oh boy. See Rudy's peak? <laughs> Uh, I think we've seen all there is to see around here. Unfortunately, I still don't have a clue what this place is. Likewise, everything we've inspected has just left us with more uh, left us with more questions. I just wish we still had our memories from before we came here. I imagine that would fill in several gaps for us. Still, it isn't as though we haven't learned anything useful at all. For one, we know this place is created by something or someone. True. It's definitely weird enough to not seem real, but I think it's safe to assume it has some kind of purpose. Beyond that, we know it resembles some kind of garden or ruin, but it's anyone's guess as to what it was intended to be. Uh, there's also those devices we came across, but none of them are active. So that leads us right back to square one. Let's agree that each detail is going to be more use- uh, going to be useful information and in trying to learn more. Above all, we need to learn why we're here. A cool bit of Falcon Door is in motion. Is in motion. Your is but, is but one thread, thread intermingled, intermingled with many. <laughs> New writing team? Now, hmm. rise, rise from, from your slum. slum. I wonder how many writers they have on these games usually. That's not really a thought that I've like thought too much, I guess. Was that a memory? Are you alright, Lloyd? Something came to me just now. You guys remember hearing a voice just before coming here? A voice? Wait, now that you mention it? I do faintly remember hearing one, though there was something strange about it. Yeah, I kind of remember it too. It's a, still pretty fuzzy. <laughs> Aurelia. Oh yeah, you're right, that is Aurelia VA, huh? Uh, it mentioned being just one thread among many. Does that mean... Wait. That sound. I remember hearing it before we came here. You've got to be kidding me. Yo, new new pro tags walk in. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? What the heck is going on? I don't recognize this place at all. Whoa. Wait, everyone's here. What just happened? Did we fall into some kind of teleportation spell? No, that wouldn't add up. Reen! You were called here too? Lloyd? Right. I feel like something or someone's brought us here. But that's all I can remember. It's strange. I can't remember where we were doing, uh, what we were doing a few moments ago either. Uh, me neither. 
What's really weird is it doesn't feel like there's any sort of panic. I feel like everything was normal. What was going on here? Were we even together before this? I could have sworn we split up. I can't say for sure, but that's what my instincts were telling me as well. It sounds remarkably similar to what we went through. I'm guessing we uh, essentially experienced the same thing. Only difference is they had to split into two parties. We're still at the same, uh, still called at the same time. But they were still called at the same time. I think the most logical thing to do now is swap all the info we have. Wait, so did... Like, Yuna or them have a mirror too? Or were they just... Drawn by... By Reen? So you suddenly found yourself in possession of a strange mirror you'd never seen and heard a voice. You were right. That's what happened to us too. How'd we experience that exact same thing so far apart? Your guess is as good as mine. Even us being unable to remember where we were before is the same. I would ordinarily refuse to believe such a bizarre sequence of events. But it's impossible to refute so much as hard evidence. My top concern is understanding why, uh, the why rather than the how. There must be a reason why we specifically were the ones brought here. Uh, I know what you mean. This is the last way I expected to see Lord Nelly again. Yeah, wasn't planning on a sudden reunion, but it's good to see you again. Sorry it is under, uh, it isn't under better circumstances, but it's good to see you again, Yuna. Same here. Yuna continues to be a social butterfly, even the, in the strangest of situations. Well, that just goes to show how genuine she is. That's certainly the real Yuna. Still, if not a single one of us remembers where, uh, where we were or what we were doing before we were called here, yeah, it's gotta be by design. Something about this place blocks the recent memories of anyone who comes here. What other explanation can there be? How can that be possible? Beats me, but let's face the facts. It's the only thing that makes sense. I agree. It's the only reasonable explanation. Regardless of how we got here, we have to accept that this place is very unusual. Easier said than done. He's right. Let's move past this and focus on the bigger picture. We must consider what we should do next. My first instinct is to search for an escape route so we can return back to wherever it is we were. But uh, you all said you didn't have any luck during your investigation, yes? I'm afraid so. Yeah, are we gonna see C2? Are they gonna remember that, like... That, like, they were hunting C? What was that? Or imagine we get, like, LeBroging. <laughs> well, you know, uh... Well, what do you know? It looks like Class 7 coming here may have been one of the conditions. Conditions? Oh yeah, you worked something out? Maybe. But I'm still only speculating. These mirrors uh, we were given might just be fragments of a bigger hole after all. And if that's the case... They almost look like they combine. Well, I think we have a relatively good idea of the situation we're in now. But I wouldn't mind getting a look around here for myself before we go any further. It might not help wor it might not help work out who or what is responsible for all this. I'd like to at least familiarize myself with the surroundings. Blah. Good thing. You said stuff's changed since you first wandered around, right? That's an excellent point. We'll come with. I want to see what's changed as well. Check it out. The tree's glowing. Even the bark looks weird. We thought the same, but it wasn't given off the light like this when we were here before. <laughs> it feels different somehow. It's as though the tree itself is springing with vitality now. Uh, it reminds me of something from a fairy tale. Is this from a book we've read? Spirit trees. They said to have a... Uh, they're said to have shiny branches and leaves, and they're filled with mana that can heal body and mind. At least that's what I recall reading about it. Now that you mention it, you used to read those kinds of things all the time, didn't you? Maybe if the mirrors together feels like Power Rangers? <laughs> Just like a whole ass like tokusatsu belt? I suppose it does look something like that. Great! Just what we need. More magical bullshit. I don't remember if it was in third where it was the tree that healed or if it was the water. I think the water just gave us like all our uh, 
all our CP back, but the tree healed, right? God, it's been a minute. It's crazy that I've been playing these games for about like a year, like past a year now. Uh, but what if it does have the same for, uh, properties as the tree at least described? It would help us out a lot. It's worth giving it a shot. Touch the tree. Become healed. <laughs> Get healed. I would say that's an accurate deduction. That's a relief. We still don't know what it is, but at least we know it heals us. Never seen anything like it in nature. Neither have I, but at least we have somewhere to return if we're injured. Knock on wood, but yeah, you're right. And these stones are glowing now too. This device is activated as well. A little foreboding. I can make out words glowing on it. A millennial trove? Commodities in exchange for currency. What's that supposed to mean? It's the shop! It's the item shop! Sounds like it's a vending machine. I'm guessing it takes Mira somehow. That would be convenient. That it would. Who knows how long we could be here. Being able to resupply would be a boon. Alright, we found ourselves a shop. A millennial trove, was it? I hope it stocks lives up in the same- uh, its stock lives up to its name. You're all having a much easier time accepting this as reality than I am. It does take some getting used to. So, what about the device to the left? Does it serve a similar purpose? I would imagine so. The Blazing Forge. Applied sep Septium Principles. Hmm. Yeah, Ash has been through so much and he's still calling it like, Oh, that's supernatural bullcrap! <laughs> Uh, the description's a little vague, but do you think it's possible for us to modify our ornaments here? It would be helpful, and yet... Yeah. This one's even more ominous looking than the others. Maybe it's because it confirms that there are dangers lying ahead of us. It's that sound again. I'm guessing we managed to satisfy another condition. I wonder what it could be. Gang gang? It seems like the lights are on? A little brighter. Food process complete. Construction of the Reverie Garden administered space complete. Beginning construction of the Reverie Corridor. Well, well, looks like the party's finally getting started. That voice sounds familiar, too. Indeed. I believe we're about to learn the reason we're here. There were a lot of interesting phrases in what little she said. Boot process, administered space, the reverie garden. Yes, and most notably the reverie corridor. I'd be lying if I said it didn't ring a bell. Cold steel too. <laughs> uh, let's make our way to the central plaza to get a better look at what's changed. That sphere from earlier is active now. New temporal space forged. This world was constructed by the Black Mirror. Its function is to present trials, allowing you to cultivate the strength to overcome great distortions in your destiny. The Black Mirror? I'm more concerned with what it means by trials. My guess is this thing governs the space we're in, meaning we were brought here to complete whatever these trials are. Correct. This process is an emergency measure intended to correct the laws of causality. It talks back. Your understanding may be incomplete due to forced limitations placed on your memories. The current sequence of events with Crossbell at its center has originated due to an impossible singularity. At this time, the chances of correcting this singularity are zero. It is for this reason that the Black Mirror has chosen to intervene. Uh huh. Is this thing even speaking our language? That confirms that our memories truly are being tampered with. No wonder we couldn't understand what was happening. I'm as lost as anyone else. From the sound of it, though, the Black Mirror is looking out for us. Yeah, and it mentioned something bad happening in Crossbell, too. Do we remember it's occupied? A lot of what it said flew over my head, but if I understood the gist of it, 
It's saying that it'll help us fight against whatever's happening in the real world. Now that you mention it, that's how I interpreted it as well. But how exactly are we going to achieve that? An excellent question, especially given that we're not permitted to remember everything that's happened on the outside. Strength gained here has been approved for use outside of the Reverie Corridor, even if new memories have been denied. She said we can grind in here. Challenging the true Reverie Corridor to better your strength is required. Only then will the possibility to defy destiny be within your grasp. Well, that clears up some of our suspicions, but there's still some things unanswered. True. But we confirmed something important. This place exists to make us stronger. It's up to us to determine how much strength we gain and whether we'll be strong enough to change whatever fate, uh, fate has in store for us. That simplifies things if you ask me. Indeed. We're left with only one option. Rise to the challenge, both for ourselves and to the homes we came from. And this is just much to do with us judging by, uh... Wait. And this has just as much to do with us judging by it being named the True Reverie Corridor. Agreed. Hmm. Oh yeah, the elevator's pretty similar, huh? I couldn't shake the feeling that this place was slightly familiar to me. Still, we don't know what the true part uh, signifies yet. Oh yeah, Reen said the name ring a bell. Sure does. Brings back a lot of memories. Sounds like this version is here to pump us up and get us ripped. It's like our own secret training ground. It could prove rather useful. We all have people and things we want to protect on the outside. Yes, and we each know the kind of strength it takes to overcome the impossible. Let's work together and gain the strength we need. It is for that reason I and the Reverie Garden exist. Access to the first stratum has been granted. May you seize the ability to overcome the impossible over the course of your trials. Talk about hospitality. The way is op uh, the way is finally open for us. Let's take this opportunity. Right. You may, you may now challenge the Reverie Corridor's first stratum. Select which party members you wish to take with you. Lloyd and Reen are required. Yo! I'm playing Persona 3 right now. Is this like Tartarus? <laughs> Is this- Am I- You're telling me I get two Tartaruses? Reverie Corridor tonight! <laughs> the items Mir and Sepeth belonging to Reen and Lloyd's parties have been consolidated. From now on, any items or notebooks data required by Reen or Lloyd will be accessible by the other party as well. Wait, so if one of us is rich, all of us are rich? Let's go. Looks like everyone's taking the chance to get more familiar with the place. I should probably check to make sure we have everything we need before we begin challenging the Reverie Corridor. Never thought I'd hear that name again, but here we are. Then again, this place seems a lot different than before. Are they really one and the same? Either way, it's pointless to worry about that right now. I need to focus on what's right in front of me and what I can control. You will now begin exploring the Reverie Garden in his reign. We love our pocket dimensions. Our pocket dungeons. So what's this? Connecting to Reverie Garden database. Additional information concerning advocated conduct is available. Visitors are advised to conduct themselves in such a manner that be uh, better allows the Reverie Corridor to fulfill its intended purpose. A series of criteria have been devised to effectively administer this process, with remuneration provided for successfully completing said criteria. I'm not having an easier time of understanding these explanations. I suppose the short of it is that it will be judging us based on the set criteria and rewarding us for meeting that criteria? In that case, I guess we'll just have to do what we can to live up to its expectations. Reverie points and liberation what? You, your rank will increase after earning a certain amount of RP. Uh, you'll be able to claim a valuable reward from the central core each time your rank increases. Okay, so this is like where we turn it all in. From G to SSS. 
Confirming rank points accumulated. Hmm. Run a full team of people that has invisibility? Yo! That sounds like a cheat. Hold on, let, let's see what's upstairs. Now that like we can like properly walk around. Like what's going on here? Like what what are Kurt and Risha talking about? Those who came from Crossbell told me that this pedestal has been inactive. There's something odd about it. I get something like a warm feeling just looking from uh looking at it. I wonder if the equipment in front of it serves as some kind of greater function. Though I think it's best if we leave it alone for now. Sure, though, while I have you here, I wanted to say that I intend to provide you support in the corridor. I may not remember exactly what's happening in the real world, but that uh, but that shouldn't prevent me from fighting by your side. Thanks, Elise. I appreciate it. This place seems to be designed to affect what's happening in the real world, even if we're not allowed to hold on to our memories. How fascinating. Activating requisitions program. Along with usual Overman factory functions, you can deconstruct weapons and armor. Oh? Oh, the grind's gonna go crazy here, huh? Is this all stuff that I missed? Floaty friend Bobcat? Rock and Mohawk? Once you start getting more characters, it really starts opening up. You get loads of quartz combinations. Uh, you get loads of quartz. That YouTube heart is so annoying. I'm, I'm thinking that's just quirky. You get loads of quirky combinations of characters just hanging out and having conversations with each other. We want to see some unhinged ass like combos. All right. Like, it would be like a fun combo to see. something the matter? No, it's just, I still can't believe the person before me is the legendary Yin. Even seeing you in the uh, this eastern attire, it's hard to imagine you as a legendary... Dongshou? Uh, let's just say that's because Yin can take many different forms. I've heard about you from Sully in the SSS. It'd be an honor to fight alongside you. Uh, I feel like that should be my line. Hopefully I can learn a thing or two. Yeah, even Ash and Elliot's kind of funny. Hello out there! Oh! God, my reverb gets loud, but like... <laughs> Hold on, does that- do I still have that? Oh no, I took it off. Or did I? Oh yeah, no, I don't have that assigned anymore. I gotta fix that. There's barely any echo here either. This place is so bizarre. Oh, never mind. There was no reverb. I thought I had a handle on this place size, but it continues to baffle me. I've been dragged into some crazy places over the last year, but this one's towards the top. Sounds like you old timers have experienced something like this before though, yeah? We did. We went through a version of the Reverie Corridor when we were students, but it was different from this. The circumstances around us entering were also completely different. I don't have a clue why we were brought here this time. I'd love to hear Gaius and Emma's opinions, but they haven't been sucked into all this. Yet anyways, it could be that there are some sort of conditions that led us to being here. Either way, let's focus on, uh, let's focus on making as much progress as we can, uh, with who we have now. Be ready. Hmm. A trial, huh? You mean what that voice said earlier? Yeah. Apparently this is a trial to prepare us for overcoming what's happening in Crossbell. The fact I can't remember what it is or even question it makes me uneasy. Hmm. Ah! Fine then. I've had enough thinking for one day. If this is about helping Crossbell, then we just have to do it. She's right. It doesn't matter whether our memories are being restricted or not. Now's the time to put our strengths together and get through this. Sometimes simple is best. 
I hope you don't mind us leaning on class 7 strength again, Reen. Not at all. We'll need yours too. Okay, okay. Oh wait, I neglected. Who was it? Um, Milliam Lecter? Look, Lecter, there's a bunch of fish in the pond. Can we fish in here? No kidding. At least we know there's something to live off of for a few days then. You say that, but you don't seem all that phased by what's happening. We really don't know whether we'll be able to leave yet. Eh, what's the point in freaking out over things you can't control? Exacto mundo. We've got to be ready for anything, like always. And what's there to worry about with me and Lammy on the case? Got me there. Kind of valid. Sometimes you just have to, like, say, like, yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. It is what it is. <laughs> the sphere is no longer responding. The way it spoke made it sound like it had a sense of self. I was thinking the same. I could sense that there was some sort of will behind it. Something about it was familiar. Am I mistaken, or did you s uh, did it say Reverie Corridor? This may be trivial, but its danger is unmistakable. I hope to Ideos Milliam has good sense in it to not simply charge forward. Agreed. This is the sort of situation that would lead to her leaping before thinking. We'll have to work together to rein her in. Naturally. Listen to us. What unenviable roles we've signed up for, haven't we? I couldn't agree more. <laughs> You've been quite a caring sister, Altina. You don't sound very bothered by it, you sis. It's your imagination. <laughs> You're imagining it. Rain wants to practice his eight lures, one bait style. First, second, third. God, I still am absolutely in love with Rin's uh, Breaking Dawn S uh, uh, S break. It's just so damn good. Oh, I need to get more plushies. I'll just disable Lloyd for now. And then like, next time. Or if I like, take a break. Because I'll probably like, stop to get like, a drink. I'll also do some like, uh, transparency editing for the... The C and Lloyd plush- uh, the C and Reen plushies so I can have them next to me too. Oh? Jammer? So this is the Reverie Corridor. Wait, yo, this song goes crazy! <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem to have any rhyme or reason to the way it's expanding. You guys are acting as if it's nothing new. Well, that's because it isn't. A place like this manifested beneath Thor's main campus, so it's cool house a couple years ago. That was also called the Reverie Corridor. Dude, wait, the percussion in this track goes crazy! Something seems different about this one. Indeed, there's something about this place that feels more concentrated, I suppose. Hmm. I've heard about strange spaces like this from Estelle. Phantasma, she called it. This isn't quite it, though. We should probably assume they're unrelated. Agreed. The similarities are there, but we may as well treat this like it's someplace brand new. I know we're only on the first floor, but everything begins with the first step, so let's get moving. The Reverie Corridor is a unique place. A number of special attack bon uh, attack bonuses are, or AT bonuses are, I can't fucking read. Uh, the demand caution are present in battle. Be wary of letting the enemies get them. Okay, so the, the higher elements. God, CP loss sucks so bad. Embarking. Oh. Something's up with that monster. Yeah, I've never seen one so shiny before. Glittering Mirage. Classic uh, Unisuga Banger. Let's go. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's a strong one. We better not let our guard down for a moment. Special monsters will appear. Ooh, a new title. Formidable foe. Gold, blue, and red ceiling stones are limited per floor. Only silver stones are awarded once all three are collected. Ceiling stones. Ceiling stone mention? Wasn't that, uh... Wasn't that third? Yeah. All threats will be eliminated. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> God, I said it last time too, but like... I like this track, I really like this track. When I went to go look it up online, and I, I scrolled down to the comments for it, and saw people talking about chickens, I was so weak, and now I can't unhear it. <laughs> Fierce as fire! Blazing sword! Spirit, you let's go! It's a flash! I'm going! All for one? And, and one, one for all. all! Let's settle this in one fell swoop! Oh, let's huge, go. huge, huge. Chickens, what? Yeah, so like the there's like a pluckiness to the guitar at the start of the track where it just sounds like a bunch of chickens like clucking. Like it, it's such a good song. I love this song, but like I can I can I don't think I can ever unhear that. Engaging. Search mode details procured. Let's go. Arcane Gale. Arcane Gale. Ah! It's down. Ah! My turn. Oh, I'm gonna need to start getting some like a uh, proper build soon. I haven't had the chance to do that. Like, uh, I haven't been able to build an evasion tank yet. <gasps> I shall Ouch. Go. Okay, okay. All right, right here. This is where it starts selling chickens. I have to hear it, you have to too. Fierce as fire! Blazing sword! Engaging. Rihanna, activate! Fire. Of course! It ends here! Ah! Of course. Yeah, it's so surprising to me sometimes because like there is so many tracks that I, I listen to that, like where I, like I'll think like oh damn this bangs and then like <laughs> and then I'll go on to YouTube and then find out that like everyone's like flaming it for some reason. I get a better track sure, but like I feel like there hasn't really been too many songs where I've been like oh this this is ranted. Like I don't think there's been it's my I turn. don't think there's been a song that I've actively not enjoyed. Here, let's try. It's down. There. Every battle shows me why you're such an indomitable force, detective. A little bit of stubborn can go a long way. Nice. It's, they just simply don't see the vision. From this point onward, I don't feel like there's a lot of memorable tracks. Mm. I guess that's also valid. A bit spoiler-ish. I know I'm not there yet, but that lately- The chest doesn't appear to have been opened yet. Lately, I've been super into the opening for Kuro. Nice. I'll hold on to it. Or, uh, Daybreak? This will come into play at some point, I'm sure. Like, that second drop in that song that happens at, like, a minute 50 is just so damn good. Careful. That one looks tough. <laughs> Alright, big fight. Ready. 
I wanna fucking throw it down with all four of them. Alright, never mind. I have a million plays on that song. <laughs> it's goaded. Hmm. Like the way, noble arm. No it's my turn. Like the way, noble arm. It's free. My turn. Cut through. Down there. I'm going. <gasps> no! Wait! Ah! Uh, I wasn't looking at the. Uh, I'm weak. I don't think anyone has Thelus. I can't believe I let that happen. I'm. Man. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I shall go. Behold my dance. And a three. Five! My turn. Activate. Good. I'm up. Pop down there. Fight back. It's my turn. Hmm. Revel in the night. I should have got someone with accelerate. Right. Get down. Got him. Let's go. Arcus, there. My turn. It ends here. Let's go. Oh, he's a survivor. Pop down there. Engaging. Uh, of course. Bonk. Yeah, Bonk. I'll assist. Let's go. Two thousand, right? We had two thousand surely in a basic attack. Ha. No. Like you. Useless. <laughs> Let my guard down. My turn. I put too much faith. I, I'm I'm actively throwing right now. Prison down there. Let's go. God, how many how many games have I played? Yeah. Thank you so much. Like the way, noble arm. Engaging. Rihanna. Fire. Attack. Attempt. Let's go. Sestral Breaker. Sorry. Oh. oh, sorry. Oh my Leave God. It to me. Holy. Well. Hold up. I'm gonna need to think about that one. <laughs> That was kind of... That was something else. Okay, if I lose, I can just restart the fight, right? Very well. Because I win. Watch out. This one's tough. Like the way. We were just not careful. My turn. Restart from last save. Oh god. Yeah, I gotta say, I didn't really do much for myself here, huh? Let's go. Awaits you to stretch. Now, I'll assist. I shall go. Search mode at scan complete. Not on my way. Engaging. We are fighting. Attack. Attack. I'm up. Light the way. 
Noble Orc! I'm up. Let's fall oh, back. No. One thing you like doing, they start incorporating vocals in the final boss. Ooh. Down there. Death awaits you. Revel in the night. I'm going. That's perfect. Oh, that sounds sick. Death awaits you now. I'll assist. I shall go. Charger. It's my turn. We love a Final Fantasy raid. Let's go. I recently re-downloaded 14 too. Death awaits you. Revel in the night. Death awaits you. Fight back. Let's go. Down there. You're finished. There are more coming. Death awaits you. Okay, see, we're so much better than the sun. Like, it's not a shambles. Let's go. Revel in the night. Wait, I've already Let's done a hundred brave orders? That's nasty. All for one! And, and one, one for all! all. Everyone! <laughs> Let's go! Mmm. Spirit, you I'm up! Engaging. Activate. Destroy. Attack. Everyone. Of course. Leave it to you. I'm going. Get out now. I'll assist. This is it. <coughs> Strength depleted. Oh, Tina. Oh, yowch. I'm up. Yeah, I'm kind of crazy to lose her that quick. Awaits you. Here, let's get her up. Thank you. I'm up. Four enemies. Of course. Maybe I should be using uh, utilizing toughness shield a little more. Now, I'll assist. It's my turn. It's my turn. For one, and one, one for all. all. Let's go, everyone. <laughs> Excellent work, everyone. We did it. All right, this is gonna be big XP, huh? Yeah. Nice. That'll do it. Stats update. I need a map. <laughs> oh, hey. Wait, we just randomly got a ceiling stone from that. So I only need one more, right? This will come into play at some point, I'm sure. I wonder if all the floors keep the same uh, layout. What's with all that light over there? Let's get him! Oh. Okay. Light the way, noble arm. Come and now. I'll assist. Yeah, hundred percent sky vibes. My mind is clear. Oh wait, it swapped out. Empty. It swapped out breaking dawn. <laughs> ah, all good. I shall go. Now, Fight back. We were rather compatible, weren't we? Hmm. I hope we continue to make excellent progress. 
We can move on now. Yo, so they're gonna drop a lot of droplets, huh? We're gonna be able to like juice out some characters. We still have more to go. Tap ready. Hold on, let me let me break some of these eggs that before I do that. Chest doesn't appear to have been opened yet. Oh, ambush zones. Monsters may win in large groups in a dungeon. Okay. It's an ambush. Oh, so that's kind of like what I just did. Strong energy detected ahead. Sit up. I lost. I lost the buttons. You will live here. You must see every link pair win dialogue. <laughs> Powerful enemy. Exercise caution. Eight turns. Six turns. Keep strong! Top this shield! And we're playing it safe for this guy. Now! I'll assist! It's my turn! fights are rough early on mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah that's just like trails pretty much i was rolling through cold steel 4 the moment i got all the builds going <laughs> but yeah early trails is so hard sometimes engaging but we're here for it revel in the night my turn Let's go. Hmm. SC on Nightmare? Yeah, I couldn't. I didn't even know what I was doing when I was playing SC. For one. And, and one, one for all. all! Let's go, everyone! Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Let's go! Listen! Even Crystal! It's my turn! Oh, perfect time for that, huh? Activate. Destroy. Let's go. Uh, did you have a best difficulty when I started? Yeah, I did, and I was heavily discouraged. <laughs> yeah, we're only doing nightmare. For one, and one, one for all. all. Let's go, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going. Keep strong. Toughness shield. Death awaits you! <laughs> yeah, maybe let's enjoy the game first, True. Let's go! Yeah, vanished! I imagine. Got him! I'm up! Hmm. Let's go! Cut through! It's down! 
Shall go. Arcus activate. Right. Freaks are so cool. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, not the petrify. guy's gonna hit so hard and I don't think Risha is gonna take it yeah. so thank you so much <clears throat> right we would have been dead Leave it to me. Divine shield. I'm up. Protect us. I were counting on you, sis. <laughs> Death awaits you. Come. Perfect. I'll assist. I All right, we're, we're fucking back. Let's go. Charging. Let's go. Roar. Healing now. There. It's my turn. Divine shield. Protect us! Of course! Oh, that. Okay, perfect, perfect. Even Crystal! It was. Death awaits you! We thought about it, we thought about it. All planned, all planned. I shall go. Arcus activate. It's my turn. Divine Shield! Protect yeah. us! I'm up! Healing strike! Simple! I'm going! To stress! My turn. We are fine! Now! Attack! Very well. Divine shield! I'm up! Protect us! Crimson Flash! Simple! Perfect! Man, thank you, Yusis. We were rather compatible, weren't we? Hmm. I hope we continue to make excellent progress. Nice. I, I need to keep at it. Okay, that's three stones. What if we go back? Do we have to, like... Do the whole route. You're new. 
Oh, I see a chest. It did say three stones, right? Was it here? Connecting to Reverie Garden database. No. Where did I see ceiling stones? Oh. Only silver stones will be rewarded once the former three have been collected. Hmm. Okay. So we have the stones, but no use for them yet. Time to begin our survey. Oh, but... Maybe this would be a good time to do a little bit of... A little bit of looking at what we got, you know? Like, if we're gonna hold on to Risha... Blazing forward. What is she running? Activated. So she has 34 evasion already. Like off the bat. Maybe we like. Evade two. Which brings her to 40. Do we have anything else for more evasion? Oh, didn't I have something that gave 10? That would make her insight 100% uh, dodge. Oh, maybe I didn't. Mm, maybe I didn't. Evade nine. We do it for the one percent chance that she gets hit. <laughs> yeah, now we need to make sure somebody has shining. Blazing Forge activated. We're so evasion pilled. 1% <laughs> chance Fire Emblem XCOM fans get flashbacks. Oh, man. It's true. <laughs> Who's rocking EP2? Claire doesn't need it. Well, we're gonna be menu gaming for a bit in this game, huh? And then we want increased heal. So we don't need. We get Aqua, Tear, Thelus. We're not gonna need any of these anymore, so we can throw on cast one. Cast two. This game's about to be 25% menus, I believe it. We've been there. Just like Unicorn Overlord. <laughs> Alright, we're not gonna Galleon Fort Gaming just yet.
Let's see how far this can take us now. We should be on our way then. We're good. We still have more to go. Swear this enemy looks like it came out of like a Souls game. <laughs> okay, all of them at the same time. I want I want a four times chain battle. Oh fuck, I don't have I hold up, my bad. I need I need a rest. By using Phantasmal Shards, you can unlock further blessings, including Restore CP and Assault Gauge. Hmm. This Damn, but I don't want to have... Assault Gauge. Was there any more eggs for me to break around here? Time to begin our survey. Nah. Looks like there's still more up ahead. I could just get into a fight we with this guy. That one if All threats will be eliminated. Down. Down. Leave it to me. Like the way. Noble arm. Very well. Behold my dance. It's my turn. Divine shield. I shall go. Protect us. Arcus activate. Ha! No! Oh, we got so so damn it's lucky. Holy crap! Divine shield. Engaging. Protect us. Light the way, noble arm. I shall go. Arcus activate. Ha! Let's go. All right, get the fuck back. Risha's got this. Of course. Yeah. I shall go. Charging. Let's go. Quit now. There. Very well. Uh. Yeah. Targets eliminated. Move out. <laughs> Two wolves, dual sif. Damn. Those are such good, uh... Oh god, oh god, oh god! A nuisance. Oh, I... Let us fall back. <sighs> Waste okay. of my time. Are they gonna be gone? Aw, oh, man. Man! Alright, I at least want to combine these ones. I just did myself dirty there. Ah, right, whatever. My mind is My turn. Like the way, noble arm. Engaging. Activate. Stop. Leave it to me. On your knees. Death awaits you. Perfect. I'll assist. Death awaits you. Very well. Get petrified. A trifling matter. Infinity Rage is so good. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty good. Oh, that's a rare one. Heartless Edgar Complete Edition. Heat His up. luck is on our side. Wait, like, I just have like the whole book. Oh, damn. This should be of good use to us. It reminds me of when I was in the second grade. The path is now open. I felt so cool for having like the complete edition of uh, Lord of the Rings, and I, and I was able to read along while while our teacher was reading to us uh, to us in class. 
such a goaded teacher. Nice. Wait, even oh. was that was that Red Moon Rose? God damn! You know, I still need to read uh, Red Moon Rose also. This is one I haven't uh, gone through yet. And doesn't that have to do with, like, uh, Roselia and stuff? Ha, ready. Ha. The only ones I've read were, uh... Will play nice. Which one was it? Um... I'm blanking on the name. Ha. The one with, uh, Ayn and Tovo. Good. Carnelia? I've only read through Carnelia and 3 and 9. Ready. What if I hit this? Okay. I wanted to see if the game would drop me. Item inventoried. What is that curious fluff? An easy victory. God, it really does sound like the song in uh, Sky, My mind is clear. the first battle theme. Of course. Come now, Alice is engaging. Never read Dawn Knight. No, I didn't get around to it. We were rather compatible, weren't we? Man, see, uh, there's a lot of stuff that I probably still need to get around to, like, um... There was also that, uh, story between, um... Between... Oh, third and Zero? With, like, uh... Libero Gang Tovo, I think? I think it was called, like, uh, something Ring? If I'm not mistaken? Tempon Zakura one. Item inventoried. Ring of Judgment, yes, that's the one. Hmm. So that sign is just for that, okay. All the audio dramas too, yeah. Yeah, so much content. A lot of a lot of a lot of bits of media to pick through. <sighs> I was hoping we could rest soon. Damn, it really is Tartarus. I wonder how many floors this is. Yeah, yeah. I was told that that was like a uh, like a very critical read. So that was 100% on my like, oh, I got to read this 100% before I jump in. A powerful enemy. Exercise caution. Oh, wait, this trap? Not on my watch. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, it's a splash. He's fives with this one. Mm-hmm. Leave it to me. I only just recently started playing the East games. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm playing through uh Lacrimosa of Dana. Or Dana. Oh, I should have jumped in for this. Ah, whatever. We got our shield. Thank you, Yusus. It didn't go through! 
Engaging. Aw, oh. oh, man. It went through. Can we bring it back? Can we can we come back from the edge? I believe we can. God, everyone's at eight health. God, all those turns went by so Keep fast. Din Din will lurk. Sounds good, Come brother. On. Hope you have a good dinner. Okay, okay. So we got... We got Risha on the case now. We just need to get everyone as far back as possible. Not on my watch. Oh, it's happening again. Damn you! Very well. Okay, that move sucks. Thank you. Death awaits you. Perfect. I'll set energy low. I can't lose. Had fried chicken for dinner? Ooh, dang it. It's my turn. Thank you. Engaging. Charging. Sorry. They just had to be like right in range, huh? That's crazy. Thank you so much. Now, in grand form, open fire. I think the thing that sucks here is Risha doesn't have rage, so she's not doing a ton of damage. She's just not gonna die. I take it back, she's gonna die. Strength depleted. I'm sorry. Leave it to me. It's my turn. Alright, no, we're running back. I'm sorry, everyone. This one's strong. Be careful. Engaging. Beginning retreat. Come on. Exiting the field. We're gonna move our units and maybe like throw on some uh some faint faint resistance. Like, I don't have anything on Reen yet. Uh, prevent faint. Prevent faint. Hmm. Maybe that's okay. And then... Let's try that now. Let's fight! A powerful enemy. Exercise caution. <laughs> Leave it to me. That's right, she's stealth. Okay. My turn. Arcus, I'm going. Now, I'll assist. It's my turn. Hold out, Black Tortoise. Let's go. <sighs> Very well. He has freeze too. Arcus, activate. 
Whack. Of course. Strength depleted. This boss I'm is a sorry. mess. It's come to this. Dog. That move sucks. I can't lose. Hold out, Black Tortoise. I can still fight. My mind is clear. Sorry, everyone. Is is nothing. I think I got rid of all my incenses too. Oh, let's do this again. Let my guard down. Leave it to me. It's my I'm sorry, everyone. All threats will be eliminated. You vile. Leave it to me. Okay, I'm just gonna do like the weirdest placements I can. I'm going. I'm up. My turn. Arcus acting. I'm going. It's my turn. Arcus activate. It's my turn. Engaging. Charging. Thank you so much. Pistol. Perfect. Allison. It's my turn. Okay, okay. I'm seeing it. I can still We're doing like no damage, but I'm seeing it. Thank you. My turn. Charging. My mind is clear. Thanks. Death awaits you. Risha is keeping it busy. I shall go. Charging. And no one's gonna die. Damn you! I can't lose. Take a deep breath. How much health does this thing have? Oh my god, we're gonna be here forever. Hold out! Black Tortoise! Take a deep breath. Come! Now! I'll assist! I can't lose. For one. And, and one for all! We'll get through this! Engaging. Oh god, he learned! Charging! You have my- It's my turn. Now. I'll assist! I shall go! Arcus Leave activated. it to me! Hmm. Like the way, noble arm. I can't lose. All for one, and, and one, one for all. all. Let's go. Let's go. Ha. It's come to this.
It's a shame Rin doesn't have his uh, cast order, the instant cast. Thank you. Engaging. Charging. Take a deep breath. Come. Thanks. Let's go now. I'll assist. It's come to this. Like the way. Noble arm. It's come to this. Engaging. Uh. How's Risha looking? Does she still have shining? She doesn't. Oh, she could die here. Charging. Let's use your ability Behold while we can. Damn you! Let my guard down. Let's go. Figured it was too broken, so they removed it, but left all the other busted stuff in the game. <laughs> Fire! Blazing Sword! I'm up! Roar! Look your legs down! Damn you! It's come to this! The best thing we can do is this, I think. Charging! Thank you so much! Oh! Come to this. Arcus, I can still fight. Hold out. Black Tortoise. I can still fight. Roar. Healing now. There. Huh. Damn, back to back. Damn you. I can't lose. They're different for that. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Hey, now! I'll assist. I'm in trouble. Charging. I can still fight. Roar! Look at me now! There! My mind is clear. <laughs> Thanks. I can't lose. Break them! Raging hammer! I can't lose. Arcus out! Energy law. Charging. Fool! Yeah. This is nothing. Yeah. Perfect! I'll assist. Sorry, everyone. I shall go. Hmm. Arcus X. Thanks. It's come to this. Yeah. Damn you. Okay, it's a slow but lose. sure, sure victory here. You know. One and, and one, one for all. all. We'll get through. Leave this. it to me. Listen, Ivan Crystal. It's my turn. Uh... Engaging. Arcus, I'm going. Come. Yeah. Ha. Leave it to me. Engaging. Arcus activated. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Of course. Perfect. Almost halfway. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna get there. Rebel in the night. It's my turn. It'll happen. On your knees. They're open. Got it. My turn. We on it. Fight. Now. A chance. 
Brace yourself! Blinding <laughs> light! You know, we're not really using... Behold my death Run! Run! Now! Grand fire! Damn you! I can't lose! Okay, alright, alright. God, it'd be so tragic to lose here. Arcus, activate! I can't lose! Divine Shield! Protect yes. us! Thank you! This is nothing! I can still fight! Arcus, activate! This goes perfect! I'll assist! Yeah. You have my thanks! I shall go! Arcus, activate! Thanks! It's my turn! Alright, Eustace needs to get out of there. Leave it to me! My turn! Arcus, activate! Thank you so- I'm going! Get out now! I'll assist! My mind is clear. My turn. Charging. Damn you! I can't lose. Energy low. Arcus, I can't. Sorry. Sorry, Dylan. My turn. Arcus, Ava. Thank you so much. This is one of the fights where it's useful. True. Yeah, because it'll be like a consistent Charging. amount of health coming back. Thanks. I can't lose. Take a deep breath. Come I can still fight. Arcus, activate. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I shall go. Charging. I let my guard down. Yeah. Oof, it's too slow. I can still fight. Roar! Oh. Here I try! Four! It's come to this. Brace yourself! Blinding <laughs> light! Damn you! I'm in trouble. Charging. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, everyone. Energy low. Charging. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Down. Hey. Let my guard down. It's coming. Man, we were hanging in there. <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's a like Earth Pulse uses. You have my thanks. It's come to this. Arcus, I can still fight. Energy low. Arcus activate. Thanks. Energy low. Arcus activate. Sorry. No, everyone. Thank you so much. I didn't like seeing that it moved. I need it away from Altina. I need it away from Altina really badly. <laughs> Arcus activate. It's come to this. Stay away from the daughter. Arcus activate. Thanks. Yeah. This is nothing. Arcus, activate. 
useless. Now, oh, we're getting so lucky. I'm in trouble. Arcus, activate. Oh, and then on her turn, we can do, uh... Do, um... The stealth. Arcus, activate. Thank you. I'll Thank you so much. It's my turn. Listen, Ivan Crystal. It's my turn. Uh, huh. My turn. Stealth mode. Death activate. awaits you. Okay, there we go. We're lucky. We're so lucky. Marcus, <laughs> activate. Uh, damn you! It's come to this. Uh, strengthening. Yeah. A deep breath. I can still fight. I shall uh, I need you over here. Arcus uh. Thanks. Yeah. Very well. I shall go. Charging. Take a deep breath. Yeah, now. I'll assist. Yeah. Leave it to me. Uh, yeah. My turn. Listen, Ivan Crystal. My turn. Charging. Man, that's crazy. That breaks through that too. Uh, I'm in trouble. Uh, Arcus, I take a deep breath. To stress. Now, I'll assist. Yeah. Huh. Sorry, everyone. Simple, perfect. I'll I shall go. Arcus Act. Come to this. Like the way. Noble arm! I can't lose. Uh... Yeah. Thanks. We're so damn close. Now, Huh. Not on my watch. I can't lose. Uh, I can still fight. Roar! Huh? Feel like huh. Brace yourself. It's yeah. it's huh. over. It has to be. Gather in my flame! Iolus! Saber! Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, those are the... Those are the wild fights. <laughs> a trifling matter. 17 minutes, a 5 time... 5.1 times, goddamn. <laughs> A matter, of course. Stats, I need to keep at it. Nice! Red ceiling stone? That ought to have been one of the masters of this floor. You'd think that'd be enough to trigger a change, but nothing. My guess is something needs, uh, something more needs to happen to make the barrier here disappear. Makes sense. Then we'll have to search around for some, uh, for some potential leads. Not here, though. It's clear that this is as far as we can go for now. How about we think uh, think on it back on the ground floor instead? Everyone okay with that? Let's roll. It's possible that others may have figured out uh, something while we were here. Good point. Let's get back to the base and swap notes with them. It's just like Tartarisk, for real, for real. <laughs> Oh, they're back! We explored as much as we could of the first stratum. Does uh, make for a good place to train, if nothing else. Seems to be more to explore, but... More to explore? 
Outer Wild? <laughs> uh, but there was a barrier. Barrier? There was a barrier preventing us from going any farther in. Did anything change while we were away? Kinda. Some tables and chairs appeared, so it's a lot more comfortable than it was before. Looks like the guardian, uh, the garden's way of uh, optimizing things for us. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. All the more reason to settle in. This is going to be our home base. Traversal of the first strata confirmed. Conditions of master missions fulfilled. These quantified goals may serve as a guide with which to measure progress. All visitors are advised to regularly confirm available master missions. Hmm. It sounds like something else has changed. Oh. Hold on, just checking my messages. I think I got a YouTube message. Okay, or not YouTube, Discord message. Uh, and then an email. Okay. Cool, cool. Now that we're back, why don't we have a look around the garden to find, uh, to find out what? Sounds good to me. Don't see chairs, uh, cushions on those chairs. We sent on some rocks. Uh, you can now view missions and report their completion using the central core. Inspect the central core sphere in the plaza to view missions and report their completion. Review missions. You can view missions available to you and collect rewards for completing them. One, one mission has already been completed. Feel free to collect the reward. Hmm. This is, uh, this is new. Phantasmal shards, 120. Phantasmal <laughs> shards shall be supplied henceforth. Their function to unlock new possibilities within the Reverie Corridor. Phantasmal shards are the premium currency. Permissions now granted for visitors to unlock new functionalities that will ease future trials. If collecting those shards is to our benefit, then we can't ignore, uh, afford to ignore them. Yeah, let's keep unlocking stuff. Trade phantasmal shards for special items or use them to unlock useful abilities, okay. Central Wait, do we do that here? Activated. New contents available. Oh. <gasps> Unseals the ceiling stones? Let's go! <sighs> Ball gotchas like wherever I'd play them more. <laughs> Guessing this unsealing pedestal is the thing on the platform we saw earlier. It would seem so. It should be active now. This must be what the voice is alluding to. Uh, it really is another useful functionality. Well, what are we waiting for? Why don't we have a, uh, why don't we go have a look? Yeah, only one window for sure. All right, let's head up there. Yeah, I don't play a ton of gotchas, but I do play them. Unseen like right pedestal now, activated. Right now I'm only playing Blue Archive. About the unsealing pedestal. The unsealing pedestal is a facility used for the purpose of naturally unsealing items called sealing stones. <gasps> Unlocks allies? Unlocks daydreams from the past? It is third. Okay. A blue sealing stone is currently in your possession. Use the unsealing pedestal to reveal its contents. I have a gold one though. <laughs> Daydreams are basically the doors in Sky the Third. Buried trails, beaten trails, blazed trails. Oh. Risha, Nadia, and Swin? You may access the slab of remin uh, reminiscence. You daydreams featuring past events. So are these like actual events that had happened or are they like, hmm, we'll see, we'll see. More will be revealed to us as we go on. Uh, does anyone understand what just happened? Is that thing gonna let us look into the past somehow? 
That would be a strange twist. How the hell does that work? This garden is just full of mysteries. Regardless, at least we know what to do uh, with any other ceiling stones we come across. Not to mention the phantasmal shards. There's a lot to keep track of. We have to remember to use what we have at our disposal, strange as it may be. It's easy to get caught up in how any of this is theoretically possible, given how little the logic of our own world seems to apply here. I'm still convinced that everything here exists for the purpose of making us stronger, though. Correct. The Black Mirror serves to aid visitors in the fulfillment of unrealized possibilities. Visitors are advised to make use of these services to raise the chances of realizing their own destinies. Hmm. All garden systems confirmed to be operational. Connection between the Black Mirror and the outside world stabilized. Visitors are instructed to make physical contact with the mirror to return to the outside world. Huh. Okay. So we can just come and go. So the mirror itself is how we return. Uh, the daydreams have some keynote moments. They really went all out in terms of ser uh, fan service, the good kind. <laughs> nice. We can leave whatever, uh, whenever we want and then return when we want to become stronger. Uh, yeah, but I'm still stumped over what we were even doing before all this. We should probably get back to it, though. I feel as though we were in the midst of something very important. That's likely why we were called here in the first place. Safe bet. Whatever it was, all the stuff we did here should help us do better. Hopefully. I just wish we could do it again without having our memories wiped. That's out of our hands for the moment. Let's focus on what we can control. Yeah. Let's take this opportunity to go back, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Reverie Corridor continued to help us going forward. It's great to know it'll be here when we need it, even if we're about to forget that fact. Yeah, uh, yes, we can really master our craft for when, uh, when the time comes. It would also be to our benefit to explore everything we weren't able to see during the trip, uh, this trip at a later point. We'd be fools not to make good use of, uh, when the... We'd be fools not to make good use when the opportunity does arise. The Reverie Corridor is a unique space which does not possess a single fixed layout. New internal layout will be randomly generated upon inspecting the central core and selecting rearrange the reverie corridor. Open chests will be replaced with fresh ones. Defeated monsters will be resurrected and changed. There are rare items you can, that can only be found in the reverie corridor, so it's worth your while to explore fully. Your exploration parties can now be made up of any combination of characters. Oh, so we don't even have to like have Reen or Lloyd. Uh, it's been one surprise after another since we arrived here. But I think everyone's starting to get the hang of things now. Maybe I should go see how th uh, how things are doing while I check all the facilities we have access to now. Unsealing, slab of remnants, sporting stones. All right. You will now explore as Lloyd. Okay, but I want to I want to unseal someone. We need to do gotcha. Gotcha time. Unsealing pedestal activated. Gold ceiling stones will allow you to recruit additional characters um, who don't join you as part of the story. There are only as many gold ceiling stones as there are characters to recruit. Uh, contents of gold ceiling stones you already own will be changed when you obtain new gold ceiling stones. If you're unhappy with the contents of the stone you obtained, you can either acquire another or load save data before you obtain said stone and try again. Okay. So... It's actually random? Just save scum. <laughs> oh! Oh shit, okay! What fascinating circumstances I found myself in. Well, since you've gone to the trouble of inviting the elder of the Hexen clan, I suppose I'll aid you. Wait, that's... That's GG. <laughs> Her fucking uh, CP absorb was like crazy. Roselia has entered the Reverie Corridor. She can aid her allies in battle. Characters found in Ceiling Stones can only join the party in the Reverie Corridor. They can, however, provide orders in Zemuria and the Reverie Corridor by being equipped to the tag-along slot. Oh... More characters will be able to join the party through Ceiling Stones as the story progresses. She can also be set as a tag-along. I didn't get roast to the end of my playthrough. Oh, damn. It is truly, uh... 
Truly random. We love it. Magical Elisa? Knew we'd get so lucky. Wait, oh my god, this is so gotcha coded. <laughs> and these are single pulls? Nice. I'll hold on to it. Okay. Wait, I feel the I feel the the monkey in my brain. The monkey in my brain yearns for more stones. <laughs> okay, but we finally got Rita's glasses back. Even though they're not exactly the same ones. I don't know what it is, but I really like Rin with glasses. And then we got something for Ash. Hmm. Okay, okay. We see the vision. They were cooking with this game. Is Roselia going to be in here? Like, as we obtain more characters, are they going to be in the corridor just like hanging out? That'd be cool. <laughs> you need little old me. That's one area down, but the number of mysteries continue to grow. It's difficult to imagine we'll find the truth while our memories are being tampered with as well. Not that this isn't a valuable opportunity to learn something regardless. I know what you mean. My gut's telling me that we don't have all the pieces to, pu uh, to the puzzle yet. That said, let's look at who was brought here. Uh, looking at who was brought here can still be a valuable clue. It's not everyone, mind you, but nearly all of us fought to put a stop to the Great Twilight. Indeed, it's impossible to overlook the connection. I once thought Mil Mirage was our only option then, but everyone here showed me it wasn't. That there was a better way. That makes me keen to see what we're capable of this time around, too. Likewise. That's one truth I can't wait to discover. Oh, Lloyd, I found this a little while earlier. Hmm. Oh, nice. Feels like I've seen some similar items in the Reverie Corridor, too. I believe it's some kind of elixir that's only produced within the corridor. Taking a sip makes you feel as though you've gained some benefits of training without ever lifting a finger. It's pretty crazy. So is the fact you tried it. So is the fact you tried it. Still, it's incredible something like this exists. I only did because I heard stories about similar things existing in uh, Eastern folklore. Folklore. Oh, excuse me. Regardless, I think we should make good use of them if we come across any more. I was thinking the same thing. Thanks for finding one, Risha. Not at all. Oh, okay. You can't use these items to level the currently highest level. So it's like catch up, but uh, catch up item. So, like, if I wanted to catch up... Hmm. Central core activated. God, I feel like I could do this forever. <laughs> this game, basically all the great parts of third, but cranked up to 11 with an actual story in the... The Reverie world and NPCs which, didn't, which third didn't have? I think that's just... Hold on. I'm just gonna make this like super long. I don't need to see what's going on on my stream. I need to see chat, and that YouTube heart's so annoying. <laughs> New contents available. <gasps> there is pom pom party in this one. Bolstering program available. New contents available. You spend 200 hours in this game? I could see it. 
This seems like a very, uh... This is definitely a game you could spend a lot of time in. Pum Pum Party is always here. <laughs> New features available. Okay, we gotta we gotta go to to uh, Reverie Pom Pom Party. See what that's about. Maybe also try the Magical Elisa too. Sporting Stone activated. It's Pom Pom Party time. Yo, the world's not in danger. A Pom 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 Party. for <laughs> God, I've always been so bad at this game. Oh wait, I'm uh, two out of three, okay? She was having a hard time there. Oh, and when you win against them, you can play as them? That's cool. It's a simple game, but so fun, yeah. No. What is this uh, originally like? I think it's like um Puyo Puyo? Our Puyo Puyo likes. It's too addicting. Alright, kind of scared. He might go off right now. Oh wait, we're, we're good, we're good. Wait, we're not. Wait, we're not. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. It's my victory. No! Now, let's begin. Alright, I, I need to save it up a little more. Alright, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go sicko mode real quick. We're we're gonna be so back. Hmm. 
I would lose. Nice. And one more, one more. Puyo <laughs> Puyo brain. Okay? Or our pom pom party brain. Oh, bad call. Oh, wait, never mind. Good call. Bad call. <gasps> now nah, we... We come back from that. Oh, 100%. This is their Candy Crush. Do people still play Candy Crush? Above me. All right, we're Risha now. <laughs> Sporting stone. And then how about activated. this one? Magical Lisa love shot. I wonder how much, how like in depth these mini games get. Long ago, a battle took place between the Dark Prince who sought to invade the human world and three magical girls who wished to protect it. It was a fearsome clash of power and passion, might through miracles, but the opposing side soon came to a mutual understanding. The Dark Prince agreed to halt his advances, returning to his realm and leaving humanity to their own devices. Time passed, the Underworld's Dark King had breathed his, la uh, breathed his last, leaving the Dark Prince to rise and assume the throne. His first course of action was to extend a peaceful hand towards humans, yet his intentions were short-lived. The Dark Prince, uh, the Dark Prince's heart hungered for supremacy, and to that end, he led the Underworld army to storm the human world. The magical girls uh, would not stand for this, of course. Their souls, alight with the desire to save their home, the three ventured into the Underworld to stop them once and for all. <laughs> hey, that's the Infernal Castle! <laughs> We finally found you, Reen. Why now? Why attempt something so heinous after all this time? Stop this awful invasion and come uh, come back to school. To us, where you belong. Oh damn, the outfit's back! I will not allow uh, not one soul to stand in the way of my domination. Now be gone. Such power. He's far stronger than he was in our last battle. Ines, Inea, oh? Yo, damn, wait, the gold armor! Your Highness, we're at your command, sire. Cut down these magical girls for me. I'll be returning to the Infernal Castle. As you wish. With pleasure, Your Highness. Stay with us, Reen. We have to let him go, Elisa. We've got bigger things to worry about. His underworld army is approaching. Curses. We're no match against the entire army. Then we should retreat. Alright, I've got a teleportation circle ready to go. 
Hurry, Elisa, into the circle. Not so fast. You'll stay right where you are. Uh, Elisa! What are you waiting for? Go ahead without me. But... You know I wouldn't say that if I didn't have a plan. We'll see each other again. Promise. Alright, I trust you. We better find you in the human world soon. My, are we noble. I pray for your sake that your words aren't those of a fool. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to last. But until the day I can come home with Reen, I'll continue to fill the cosmos with hope. Fall in love, Star! This is so goofy. <laughs> Magical Girl Elisa, LS! Wait, is this like a... <gasps> is this a, a shmup? Or... That's what they're called, right? Like, uh... Like Raiden? And like Toho and stuff? Episode 1. The Next Generation. Wait, that's so crazy that there's all this. <sighs> Thanks for tagging along on the shopping trip, you say. Not at all. I was just thinking of updating my wardrobe. I almost never take time off for myself either. So when you made that suggestion, I thought to myself, now's the time. Huh? That was Elisa, wasn't it? That gorgeous popular upperclassman? The one who's always uh, who's the next grade up? Yeah, her. You think she needs help? It almost looks like she was running from something. You know, I heard that she's been ta uh, taking a lot of time off school these days. Maybe something unusual is going on. It's gonna bother me until I know she's okay, I think. We should be safe here, right? We should have lost her by now. I wouldn't be so sure. She's monified trouble. <laughs> monified? Monified? He's right. You can't escape me that easily, magical girl. Ah, you're so stubborn. I already told you to quit following me. Just who are you anyways? Oh! <gasps> I am Magical Darkness. I'm one of the elite forces who serve Dark Prince Reen. Magical Elisa, I've come to your world to reclaim the gem you stole that acts as one of His Highness's seals. Goodness, we stumbled upon quite the scene, haven't we? But what are they even talking about? It sounds like something out of a book to me. It's Elisa! But who's that weird-looking kid dressed up for hollow- mm -mm. We need to be quiet. We could get in trouble if anyone finds us here. Hurry and transform. I wish to see what kind of power repelled my prince long ago. Even if it was just a fluke. I- I would, but uh... See, I told you not to go outside in your current condition. Oh! The little guy?! I know, but I couldn't just stand around and do nothing. So you won't transform, or rather you can't. Is that it? Then- oh. Then- well, I couldn't read it. Only death and eternal darkness await you. No, I'll never give in to you. It's far too precious to me. Then you'll leave me with no choice. Farewell, magical Elisa. Darn it, I only managed to dodge that. If she gets a direct hit on me, I'm done for. Elisa, behind you. What? No, I won't be able to- Oh! <gasps> ah! Mr. President! <laughs> An intruder? Who dares to stand in my way? Ouch. Elisa, are you okay? I know you. You're in the tennis club. Good grief, Yuna. Do you know how dangerous that was? You could have been seriously hurt. <laughs> I know. What can I say? My legs were on the move before my brain could tell him to stop. What's your game, human? Why are you protecting her? From what I can tell, you're too weak to be one of her friends. Make a contract with me! <laughs> There's no game. It's just seeing you two fight reminded me of uh, this thing that happened a long time ago. It was when the town was in trouble. 
Me and my little brother and sister were about to be attacked by this huge monster. When a magical girl in pink swooped in to save us in the nick of time. <gasps> Alisa is the, the Rean stand in in this universe. That sounds awfully familiar. I thought we were done for. I was scared stiff. But when she showed up and protected us, all I could think about was how she was a total badass. She looked so amazing in that moment that I couldn't get her out of my head afterwards. Before I knew it, I was completely obsessed with who she was and all she stood for. She made me want to become a person who can help others when they need someone most. And what do you know, Elisa needs someone, so why can't that someone be me? Maybe I am weak, but there's gotta be something I can do. I just know it. You know. I... I don't know what to say. Look, the Arcus 2 is resonating with them. The contract has been sealed. <laughs> the heck? That stuffed animal just talked. And hearing it is rather creepy at that. Creepy? Wait, forget that. The Arcus 2 is reacting to you. Uh, reacting to you is a, a monumental deal. It means that you've got what it takes to become magical girls. Real magical girls? Is that true? Is it ever? What do you say? Will you become magical girls and help protect the world from the demonic rain that threatens it? If you do, I'll give you Arcus 2 units of your own. It's cutting edge transformation tech too, so don't miss your chance. Don't make it sound like you're bribing them. And don't make it sound so cool either. We can't let these poor innocent girls get caught up in any more danger than we already put them in. I'm down. You are? None of this makes a lick of sense, but if it means I can protect people, then throw all the danger you want my way. If you're sure, as long as it's what you want, then I have no right to stop you. Let me give you both what little power I've left to help you on your debut. Great. Between her power and me m monitoring you, you'll be A-OK. -okay. Now take these Arcus 2s and we'll jump right into it. Sounds legit to me. It does not, shouldn't we? is too big to scare me away. It's time for Magical Yuna, the magical girl of courage! My feelings will embrace the world in a tender light. I am Magical Muse, the magical girl of love. Hi. <laughs> Whoa, we really transformed. Must I also be forced to transform? Get a load of this unstoppable monolithic trio. Magical darkness? Better say your prayers, cause we are donezo. What the hell to come back to? <laughs> That's a lot of smack talk for a cotton ball who's not even doing anything. It's true that I did not anticipate facing more than one magical girl. I'll have to resort to using my full strength. Open Dark Dimension. Welcome back from Dindin. Din. What's going on? How'd we go from some abandoned factory to here? You never actually played this? Oh shit. <laughs> it's almost as though we're in another world. Careful girls, this is an altered dimension made by uh from mana. All pandemonium could break loose here. Oh she's doing it too, no. <laughs> You'll see. In the name of his highness and for the sake of the underworld, here is where you shall breathe your last. Not if not if I have anything to say about it. I plan to protect our world for a long, long time. Let's roll, Muse. <sighs> I suppose there's no turning back now that we're in this deep. Let's see this through the end. Together. Those twin tails on Muse kinda goaded? Actually though, yeah. That's now the spirit. The Move, shoot, swap, skirt spin. Iframes? Unleash a mass massive electrical attack before you. Rapid volley of hearts. Yo, they did this all in engine? <laughs> Power of magical girls. You know we have the means. Now all that's left is to push to victory. Elisa may not be able to protect this world, but I can protect it for her. Yo, what is this? <laughs> oh, okay, we can hold down the button. I was like tapping. 
Okay, that's gonna save my thumbs a lot of trouble. Wait, this is kind of sick. I'm so locked in right now. <laughs> uh, collect SP by shooting down enemies. Once your SP is full, press RTD and leave special shot. Hmm. Wait, they cooked! <laughs> it's my turn. Oh, she got that like shotgun. Hooked up. It's my turn. Bostage? Oh! Do headshots do more damage? Oh. Hooked up. <gasps> oh. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Magical Excel Spark! Redownlanding Reverie. <laughs> Hold down B to release fully charged shots. I thought I beat the boss. <gasps> oh no, a barrier! Break it using its heart Wait, shot. barrier! Barrier mention! Damn. And I'm playing uh Metroid Prime. I'm playing Metroid Prime again. We cannot get away from the charge shots. Oh yeah, Metro Prime is so good. It's it's really cool coming back to now, because when I played it as a kid, right, I had no idea what I was doing. Like I never finished it. Um, it was kind of similar to me and how like I never finished like Resident Evil. Um, so like coming back to it now is kind of crazy, because like I'm out here making the same amount of progress I did playing it for like weeks in like a matter of like a couple hours. <laughs> We had that low, uh, low kid brain debuff. Oh man, I should have saved that for the boss if it was right here. Oh? I didn't think you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you go, I'll go farther. I'll stop at nothing to get the CO back to the... Gonna go hit the shower? Sounds good, brother. Her mana's rising like crazy! That- that doesn't sound good. It certainly doesn't. You okay, Elisa? I'm here to save you. Oh? I'm glad you're here too. Who? <gasps> Fee?! Let's go, Fee! <laughs> Kitty Ninja Fee. Sup?
cool a ninja. <laughs> I always thought they were made up. Who are they anyways? They're brand new magical girls. And you gotta help them, Fee. Lend them your strength. <laughs> sure thing. If it means I can go home sooner, I'll lend you whatever you need. <laughs> were they smoking? <laughs> Wait, that's so cool. Uh, assist gauge for any guy or gal pal will fill with time. Uh, once pressed, press X or Y to activate assists. Uh, you can enjoy some bonus effects until the gauge is drained. Okay. I wonder how many people have like alt costumes for this, because this is like kinda kinda funny. Uh grant stealth and visibility against enemies. Beginning combat. <sighs> no! We're fighting daughter! Forgot to put a bad dream invasion here. I think this maybe does more damage in the immediate. I'm here. Charging. Yo, this would be kind of sick if it was like two players. Imagine. Get hearted, get hearted. Charging. Charging. Oh, those things are kind of. Oh, maybe we just have to live with it. If we keep leading shots, we're good. Dodge? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Charging. Yeah, I kind of wanted to like do a hit list, so I, I didn't want to like tempt to fate. Charging. Shit, we get shards for this too? I can do gotcha if I play this? It's peak. I can't believe I lost. Thank goodness it's over. I hope you learned your lesson. You better not mess with Elisa again or else. If I can't complete my objective, then there's only one thing left for me. Kill me. You said or else, right? So do it. What? No, we fought, yeah, but I'd never go that far. 
But if I can't return uh, Prince Rian to the way he was, then what point is there in living? Back up a sec. What's this about Rian? Why would you want to know? Just tell me, please. I suppose I owe you that much as the loser of our battle. Ever since I was little, I have dutifully served the, prin uh, the Dark Prince. Lonely as I was while he lived among humans for several years, it made his return to the Underworld a few months ago that much more enjoyful. He was kind. Uh, he was the kind, warm prince I remembered, until he wasn't. Overnight, he became a cruel tyrant. I was sure that it had something to do with the lost seal gem. Ooh, excuse me. The lost seal gem. When I got a lead on where it was, that's when I learned of magical Elisa. I had no idea that's what was going on with him. Um, this might be a dumb question, but is this Reen you're talking about the Reen from school? It's a pretty rare name. They're the same person. The Dark Prince attended the same school as us when he lived in the human world. Uh, no joke? It explains why he stopped coming to school, though. I just thought he transferred out or something. It's difficult to picture him as the Prince of the Underworld, of all places. Hmm. I'm glad you told me all this, Magical Darkness. I feel better now. Better? Why would any of that make you feel any better? It's because I finally have something concrete on what happened to him. And since you were such a big help... Would you like to join us, Magical Darkness? Wow, let's go! <laughs> you want me to work with you. Why? You and I both know there's something wrong with how Reen is acting now. There's gotta be more behind why his personality changed so drastically. I want to return him back to normal, too. He's our classmate. We can't just leave him alone when he's suffering like this. Besides, there's no way- uh, there's no better way to keep the Underworld Army from invading the human realm than to save him. Do you expect me to take you at your word? Then again, I heard from the princess who kept in close contact with him that he was friendly with the magical girls. I thought it sounded too far-fetched, but maybe it was true after all. His choice in female friends leads me to believe he was in, as inappropriate with his relations in the human world as he was in the underworld, too. <laughs> Excuse me, Mona? I said nothing. Alright then, if that's how you feel, then let's work together. You did it, Elisa. You're amazing. This makes for a wonderful little happy ending. Guess we're letting bygones be bygones, huh? Works for me, but uh, should we still be calling you Darkness if you're not so dark now? True. Please call me Altina. Welcome to the team, Allie. That's not what I said. <laughs> Yo, they cooked! They were in the kitchen! <laughs> Yo, we got episode teaser? And some Yusei and I made our debut as Magical Girls. I'm pumped up to fight- I'm pumped up to fight day in and out to keep those underworld demons from invading. I get the feeling Yusei is less into it and more just rolling with it, though. Whatever, it's not like I got time to figure her out. I've got to focus on the next big threat that's raring to take us out at the mall. Next time on Magical Girl Elisa, Stall Ritter Strike! You won't want to miss this! Magical Girl Elisa LS! Damn, that's crazy. I mean, I'm not gonna do the second one now. Okay, we can't do the second one now. Cool, cool. Okay. We have to come back to it then. Bee's costumes can be equipped when she's in part when she's part of the party. We haven't we haven't run into Fee, huh? Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, we haven't run into Fee. What's she up to? <laughs> they channeled their inner yeah, cause the substory wackiness with some of the stuff in here. Oh, I feel it. Yeah, it's a hundred percent channeling that. Fish here. Right, and then they... this is for the stories, right? Oh, no. Where is... Rendering browsing interface. Buried trails, beaten trails, blaze trails. I have a feeling we'll see her soon. <laughs> Yo, wasn't there like a world in danger or something? <laughs> Oh, they voiced these! Let's go! Took us long enough, huh? 
Oh, maybe not all of it, but we can finally catch your breath. I thought we were done for when our pursuers caught up to us at the Calvardian border. It's unlikely they'll follow us all the way to Crossbell. I can't stand the Thorns. They don't know when to give up. You hate them any more or less than when you hated any of the swords. Or than you hated any of the swords. I hate everyone except you. Figures. Anyways, let's head into the city. Time for some old-fashioned sightseeing. We both know that's not why we're here. Thorns. <laughs> yeah, it's all, uh... It's all part of their organization, right? So it's like their, their, uh... Their titles or whatnot. Nadia such a mood? Absolutely. We love Nadia. Uh, if it isn't the Star Princess, you look well this morning. Oh, hi Grace. What brings you here? There's no performance today, so you can't really be here right now. Uh, so you can't really be here right now. Au contraire, my friend. I'm only here because there's no performance. Uh, what? I didn't realize you'd already come in, Grace. Hello there, sir. Thanks again for this, really. Uh, I get it now. You're here to interview Ilya Arisha, yeah? Nope, not quite. The Crossbell Times is putting together a huge feature on Arkansas as a whole. It'll be called The Miraculous Return of Arkansas, a true resistance built on blood, sweat, and tears. Nice, right? And you call yourself an editor with that title? I was joking, uh, at least the title, not about the feature. The rest of the troops should be getting together soon. Best of luck with today's interviews. Much obliged. I plan on promoting your performance like crazy, and that starts here. First up, the troop's new rising star. Hope you're ready over for a barrage of cues, silly. What? N no. I'm not good at answering stuff. But I'm sure you're good at asking. You're gonna have to do more interviews as time goes on, so why not get used to it with someone like me? <laughs> that title won't fly on YouTube, gotta keep them as short as possible. True, true. You won't believe what happens next. <laughs> I mean, I get that I will, but still. Come on, let's start with you show, uh, showing me how you practice your moves. I'm gonna squeeze some real good photos out of ya. Hey, stop pushing me! Ah, jeez. Hey, you sure. What'd I tell you about digging into the bed? Don't do that. Okay, we've restocked in everything we need. Sure is easy doing all our shopping in the big city. Ah, he's just getting comfortable. All that's left is to buy the latest issue of the Crossbell Times. God, I love that they haven't changed the titles on these books. It's so funny to see the, the title, Christ, who's gonna die first? <laughs> oh. Grace is such a fun character too, she makes the Nile and Dorothy shaped hole a little smaller. Yeah, true. They've got three and nine here too. Oh? Yeah, I wonder how they feel about that. Did they like... Yes, they do. And look at that, it's an updated edition and everything. Just how well does it sell anyways? Well, the leading lady is a real cutie patootie, so I bet it sells boatloads. You got a lot of nerve. And the hero is handsome and cool. I'm begging you to stop. But it's a good look. It's a good book. It's a young assassin and his beautiful partner betraying an evil organization and fleeing for their lives. I don't have a clue how a story like that would appeal to anyone. <laughs> uh, the poor pair are unable to escape their past as an overseer doggedly pursues them. You're still going? And after overcoming many a trial and tribulation, they defeat their true enemy and gain true freedom. <laughs> I'm dying a cringe here. Then they fall in love, grow up, have cute little babies, and live happily ever after. Now you're just making things up. The whole thing's messed up though, right? There must be some real bored people in the organization's ranks to publish a whole book about us. <gasps> oh, so the organization wrote the book? That's weird. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a covert wanted poster so their agents know what we look like. Covert my butt, now it's a bestseller. If it weren't for this book, we wouldn't constantly have people on our tail. I don't even know. I, I don't even care about that. Like I do, but not the way you do. Here's my big, super big major complaint. Where are my royalties? 
<laughs> Pay her! That's a really interesting way to do that. I like that. Okay, we're good to go. Now we can go out and have ourselves some fun. Or leave like we planned. I told you, we're not on vacation. We're on a job. Job schmob. If you don't take a load off at some point, you're gonna work yourself to death. You take enough loads off for the both of us. Come on! When's the next time we're gonna be in Crossbell, huh? Live, live a little. What's the worst that can happen if we just chill for half a day? Mm, fine. Calvert really was just one problem after another. We could stand to get some R&R while we're here. <gasps> oh! <laughs> so what'd you have in mind? Michelin Wonderland's pretty famous. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to go, but it's not the top spot on my list. I'd rather go see Arkansas. <gasps> oh yeah, they've been hitting it big across the whole continent, huh? But my guidebook doesn't say anything about them having a show today. Bet they're doing some rehearsals, though. Don't tell me. It's time to get our sneak on. Okay, so this is how Risha plays into it. <laughs> yeah. Where where is she? <laughs> Senna from Xenoblade 3 saying if you would work too. I need to get around to the Xenoblade games. I finally picked up the Switch for like the first time. I wanna get a Switch like proper with a dock so I can maybe eventually stream those games too. But for the meantime, I've been playing like Metroid on my uh, on my light. Well, not my light, but it's like my older brother's light. He has it, lets me use it when he's not using it. So, I don't know. That, those are one of the games I need to get around to. That and like Xenogears too. That'd be pretty fun. No, it still needs work if I want to compete with Elia and Risha. What a show! You shine like the Star Princess uh, even during rehearsal. C cut it out. No cut nothing, it's interview time. Do we really have to? You bet we have to. This here's gonna be a special feature. Don't think too hard about it, okay? Just say whatever comes to mind. Count on me to make it sound good. Okay then, man. If you say something kinda iffy, no worries. I can just bleep it out of, the, out of existence. So go, speak your truth. That only makes me even more nervous. Xenoblade games would be good for stream eventually. Top 5 series personally. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I know, at least from my friend group, it's a bit divisive. Because I have, like, a friend who is a really big fan of Xenoblade 1. And not too big on, like, 2 and 3. And then another fan who, like, really likes 2. Uh, hasn't gotten around to 3 and never played 1. Um... So, like, I wonder where I would fall in, you know? <laughs> Infiltration complete. I know it's a little late for this, but why didn't we have, uh, why'd we have to take your whim this far? Aw, oh, come on, don't be such a downer. It'd be a waste not to use our skills to nab ourselves the best seats in the house. I highly doubt that's, uh, in the Assassin's Training book. Look, someone's on stage. Ilya! <laughs> there you are. If I remember right, she's... The fervent dancer, Ilya Plater. Can't believe we get to feast our eyes on a big-time celeb in person. Looking good, Sully. You were watching? You may have had two years removed from near-fatal injuries, but the fervent dancer's risen again. <laughs> it's a miracle among miracles. They may as well start uh, calling you the Phoenix Dancer now. Two's a very shonen anime, has a lot of fan service, so I get why people don't like it, but has the best story, IMO. And the best villains? Ooh, okay. That might be a good title for an article. <laughs> I like it. Maybe you can use it for my next show. Because I fully intend to give one hell of a performance. And like the phoenix, I shall rise from the ashes in a blaze of glory. And I expect you to keep up, uh, keep up so you can be right there with me, Sully. For sure. 
Oh boy, Arkansas's future is looking very bright indeed. You better believe it. It's our job not to just live, uh, live up to the audience's expectations, but to exceed them. Now then, since you're here, it would be a waste not to put on a little show. You up for it? Am I? My fingers are already itching to snap photos till they're raw. I've, I've said it at the start of uh, a reverie, but like um, They've improved so much on their like camera direction and like just like the shots in this game Because I, I feel like we weren't getting anything like as dynamic or like cool looking uh, Like there were like some cool shots in three and four don't get me wrong But like I don't know just the way they frame a lot of things in this game it just looks really really good Like you can tell you can tell the improvement this is how hard she goes for just a rehearsal. She's as much a superstar as Erebone's Azure Diva. It sucks how neither one of us has been active in the couple of the past couple of years. Uh, how neither one's been active in the past couple of years. Now all eyes are on that mega movie star. Now that lady is really hitting it big. Would probably be even bigger if films started playing outside of Calvert. Oh, films? You know, I was wondering about that, because when we got to, like, the Magical Girl Elisa stuff, I was like, huh, like, do they do, like, Magical Girl, like, radio plays? Because I thought that was, like, a, a genre that appeared during, like, you know, like, a visual medium. Yeah, and did you see that? I really love how intense this rehearsal is. Come, come on out, Risha. She's here too? What a treat! My shutter just can't stop snapping! Yeah, like, a shot like this is like so cool! So that's Arkansas's other poster girl, the Moon Princess Risha Mao. Huh. Guess the rumors are true. She has an excessive amount of physical control for someone who's just a dancer. Oh, for someone who's just a dancer. She's the legendary, uh, fuck, this is this word again. Uh, how did I say it earlier? Songshu? Yin? Hey, you always keeping me on my toes. Uh, never thought we'd be running into someone like her here. If Ilya Platier's charm is built on, on how she reads and feeds the audience with painstakingly practiced technique, then Risha Mao's is built on how incredible her flow is as complete natural. Every, min, uh, every minute movement in her body is polished to the nth degree. Uh, you have to be born with skills like hers, so it's no wonder people are drawn to such innate beauty. <sighs> what am I analyzing her for? Not that there's any point here, but that's all your field anyways, Nadia. Yin. Assassin. Her sewer. Nadia? Oh. Article 7, Passage 3. All threats <gasps> must be eliminated. Nadia! Murderous intent? What's up, Risha? Oh, um, it's nothing. <gasps> Yo, she got sleeper agented! Huh. Isn't this some... Um the factory? Well, that's the last of the Monarch's regalia out of our hands. I'm sure it won't be long before the church takes it into custody. Oh? Okay, so I'm glad they cover this, but why is he back? So they- after they killed him, they took all the artifacts and handed them off? We spread them out all over the place, so I can't see anyone re uh, reassembling them and using them for evil anytime soon. That makes our ties to him as good as severed. 
I'm sorry about earlier. I could have gone a lot worse if you hadn't stopped me. Did seeing Yin trigger memories of the factory? Yeah. I think you were right. I've been too relaxed. It took all we had to run, but if I keep acting dumb, then we could be put in a position where we ran for nothing. That's not true at all. And being a stiff just isn't who you are. I know it'd throw me off my game if you were, but it's gonna be fine. I won't let anything hurt you. Oh, S. <laughs> Koguchi. <laughs> okay, you've got me motive. Uh, you got me convinced. I gotta be me, and that means dumping all my work on you and getting my sleep on. At least do some of it. <laughs> so, up for heading to the Moon Temple? Sure. Let's hope you made it uh, easy to find. Yeah, well, let's get going. Oh shit, wait, she's here! Risha Mao. You must be our intruders. I really did give our position away. I'm so sorry, S. Forget that. Stay focused on her. It appears we're in the same line of work. Ends the brakes. And there's only one way this can end. Good luck? Oh no! <laughs> Don't tell me that! I knew some group with a grudge against Yin would send assassins after me eventually. I thought her assassin days were behind her. I thought so too. But she's raring for a fight. Well, if that's how it's gotta be. Then we're gonna go hard. You'll need to. I won't lose against you! Ready? Oh god. <laughs> Target locked. How shall we play? Hmm. Hurt the flutter. Match the full spell. How shall we play? Heart disactivate. Buffing. Nurse Nadia's it. here. It's me! Ah. Hmm. Time to settle this! Destiny! Get exploded! You're down! I probably should have just sent it. Arcus activate. Target locked. Yeah. 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 Please be enough. It wasn't enough. Behold my dance, an illusory offering to departing souls. Sleep yeah, his weapon is really cool. I love that, the, like that lock-in. That was Appreciate close. It. I can still go. Ah, oh, jeez. Still go. On it. Car through. Shadow step. Yeah, the Teddy Talk line is so good. <laughs> Target locked. <laughs> On it. Mm. Ha. Maybe I just build up for now. Keep at it. 
on it. How shall we play? Are you ready? Ah, got you! Ask it for it! Come! <laughs> Ouch. Hmm. It's me. And still go. <sighs> no, get choice. finished. Get finished. <laughs> Here goes! Damn, we really were just like one off, huh? All right, we got Are it. Are you ready? Bye. You're good, but I'm. Nana, you're so amazing. <laughs> I know, right? Got you. What skill? We're holding our ground for now, but the more we drag this on, the worse it's gonna go for us. Now we know why she's the legendary Shangshu. <laughs> Missed opportunity to say you're pretty good. <laughs> I see now there's no reason to be gentle with you. So? Yo, she hitting that killer intent. Murderous intent. We were doing this the easy way before? This is bad. We don't even compare. I'll draw her attention. Nadia, uh, so while our eyes on, are on me, you run. Try again. Remember? You can't ever leave me. You're thick and thin. Besides, maybe we couldn't win if we were alone, but we're a package deal. Yeah, you're right. As long as we're together, we'll never lose to anyone. Because we're the most perfect team in the whole wide world. Did I, I see someone behind them? For this are, but I won't let you have your way. Yo, just say we aren't here to kill you. That goes double for you. So. Please. You, you don't, don't want to die. die. Leave, Leave us, us alone. alone. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Huh? What? You're kidding me. I thought you were assassin sent to kill me or one of the other troop members. No, it's you who's trying to kill us. Ah, uh, suddenly I feel really tired. I'm so, so sorry. I completely misunderstood your intentions. You can't blame yourself. If we hadn't stuck into the theater, none of this would have happened. But I never even gave you a chance to explain yourselves before attacking. I'm so ashamed. Huh. You're nothing like how I pictured. You get what I mean, don't you? Yeah. I thought you'd be more cutthroat. Right? But she's so nice. I'll admit, I'm more like that when I'm on the job, but... The rest of the time, yeah, this is me. Ugh, I think all that dumb tension from before made me hungry. Can we grab something to eat us? It is around lunchtime now. Should we turn back to the city then? In that case, why don't we go together? It's my treat as a way of apology. Yay, free food! Uh, don't splurge on someone else's, Mira. <laughs> Follow me then. I've got a great place in mind. Yo, Long Lao? Chun Chun? We about to eat that dragon fried rice? Risha invited Twin and Nadia to Long Lao where they were, uh, where they enjoyed a meal together before retiring to one of the rooms for a rest. 
As the three of them had similar past, it didn't take long before they opened up to Risha and she to them. So, after escaping from the organization, you set off on a journey together, huh? It's kind of romantic. Sure is. I'm glad you get it. If you think constantly being on the run is romantic, then yeah, definitely. <laughs> Either way, our assassin days are behind us. We're not going to let anyone tell us how to live anymore. We still haven't decided exactly what we want to do or where we want to do it, but we've turned over a new leaf for sure. No more killing. That's the one thing we won't budge on. What about you? Well... You haven't done any work in the industry for the past two years since your contract with Heiyue ended, right? Well, no, but that was mostly because things were too chaotic and crossbow to even think about taking on work. That said, I'm aware that I'm going to need to decide what to do eventually. I can't put the decision off forever. Do you want to return to being Yin again, then? I wouldn't say that. I have a whole new identity now as part of Arkansas, and that's all thanks to someone really special to me. I couldn't bear to lose that. I don't want you to lose it either. You've got such a natural talent at dancing that it'd be a waste not to let people see it. Aw, thank you for saying that, even if it does make me blush. So, you want to stay in Arkansas? Does that mean you're calling it quits on the whole assassin thing instead? It's not that simple. Unlike you two, I wasn't forced into that life. I inherited the job from my father and never took any issue with it. I just did what I had to do without ever considering the morality of it, even when I was taking lives. Of course, now I understand that what I was doing was wrong. Those who take the lives of others need to carry that burden forever. Maybe that's what, uh, that's the reason why the Yin name has been passed down for generations for so long. To keep that weight alive. With that thought in mind, I just can't bring myself to abandon it. But even though I decided that I want to find my own way of being Yin, I feel like I'm getting further from an answer. What's the problem with that? Well, what do you mean? You know the direction you need to be moving in, even if you don't know the exact route to take. So just keep going. No one says you have to stop being the Moon Princess or Yin. But if I return to the criminal underworld with such little resolve... Who says you need to get back there? You can be Yin just as you are. I can? This world isn't built on being fair. Think of evil people exploiting loopholes in the law and being protected by the same rules that should bring them to justice. In situations like those, justice alone is powerless. It's always going to have its limitations. That's where someone outside the law like Yin comes into play. <gasps> Lost judgment! <laughs> uh, you'll be one of the good guys, playing the bad guy rule- uh, playing by the bad guy's rules. Kinda cool, no? If there really are such things as heroes who refuse to stray from the light, they need someone like you to back them up. Someone who can do what they can't. <laughs> Not that I know anyone who fits that description. <laughs> Lloyd is our Yagami. <laughs> what, did we say something funny? I feel like you've let me see something I was missing all this time. Maybe there's something that only I can do after all. A way to help him that only I'm capable of. I never thought I'd end up having a conversation like this with two people I only just met uh, met today. Same here. Not for that misunderstanding earlier, we probably wouldn't be here now. Casual Risha development, we love it. We love to see it. It's a funny thing sometimes. Yeah, I think we're all surprisingly alike. Not to mention the great meal we got out of, to, out of this. Today's our lucky day. I'm happy that I was able to meet the two of you. Mm-hmm. Well, it's about time we got going. We got places to go, but I'm sure we- I sure wish we could have talked some more. I wish we could have too. In- It's fascinating how we took different trails in life, even with how similar our pasts are. DIFFERENT TRAILS?! TRAILS MENTIONED?! <laughs> that and it makes me a little sad to think we may never walk the same trail again. She keeps saying it! <laughs> I could go for some mapa tofu right now? Woo. Sounds banging. That might happen, but who knows? Maybe it won't. Life's funny that way. Well, I'll make it happen, Rx. 
because I want to see you perform. We'll make sure to go through the front door next time. <laughs> and I'll make sure to give you a show worthy of the detour. Damn, I can already tell I'm in love with this game. Like, if we get like a lot of like stories like this, it's gonna be so goaded. Phew, always with the tough questions. She one dog. Uh, she's one dog reporter. If there ever was one. Still quality stuff. I'm sure the features were uh, the features work wonder for. Our, wow, I can't talk. Uh, I'm sure the features will work wonders for a PR. Oh. Another present from a fan? Uh, what is this? Wait, no shot. No shot, this is how they drop... Momotak episodes. <laughs> it's true. Okay, uh, what I was thinking, though. So, like, this game has done things a lot with, like, you know, oh, you put on the mask, you forget who you are, right? So, like, is that how Ilya turned evil? She just got, like, a mask from somewhere? She, like, bold put it on? And then, like, oops. Oopsie. <laughs> Did you say something? This reverie corridor is quite a piece of work. If it can not only summon me, the Elder of the Witches, but suppress my memories to boot. Um, but if this place exists to put us through our paces more than anything else, then it's probably not worth worrying over that much. Regardless, now that I'm here, you can rest easy. Nothing bad's gonna happen on my watch. Count on it. Yeah, and that's crazy that our pull is Roselia, like... I hope she goes crazy as crazy as she did in the last game. Okay, well we can come back here anytime. I think it's probably a good idea to get, actually make some story progress. This must be the Black Mirror then. We'll need to use it if we want to return to our world. I should take the time to talk with everyone here before that though. Oh. Whoops. Oh, hello, Detective Bennings. You're Reen's sister, right? Uh, Reen's younger sister, right? It's nice to meet you. I'm impressed at how composed you've been uh, around everyone, given how bizarre the situation is. Agreed. It's carried over to her technique as well. Her sword form is so elegant that I'm actually a little envious. <laughs> Story progress in our Yakuza game? I mean, Trails game? Honestly? It's kind of same vibes. 100%. They were like four streams of infinite wealth that I did where all I did were just like sub stories and like one main story thing please I'm nowhere near as talented as all of you but I'm just as eager to fight alongside my brother and give everything I have I suppose having an older brother to look up to can serve as a motivation yes and it can also be a challenge when you know when you know you have to, uh, ugh, when you know you have a lot to live up to as the younger one the footsteps can be rather difficult to follow Man, Yusus really... Really talking from the heart there, huh? <laughs> you can't help but want to surpass them regardless. Yeah, I know that feeling. Though maybe this is the perfect opportunity for us. Oh, fuck, Lloyd too, right. Uh, you know, having this place available for us to get stronger. It helps to have something in common uh, when we're all fighting alongside each other as equals. I'll be counting on all of you in the battles ahead. Likewise. Well said. It'd be an honor to fight alongside you. Yeah, everyone here's got like that sibling, <laughs> that sibling uh, men mentality. All the little bros, little bros plus sis. <gasps> Wait, is it coming back? Are we getting vantage matches, uh, vantage masters in this game too? What are the two of you up to? We are just having a conversation, and then Vantage Masters came up. She's teaching me the ins and outs. Oh yeah, it's pretty popular over in Erebonia, is it? You yeah, made me play it last year, actually. Oh, you played it before? I'm hardly an expert myself, but it's such a strategic game that it wouldn't be out of place to being taught in a military academy. 
That's saying something. Hearing that kind of makes uh, kind of makes me want to pick it back up again. But I don't see why not. I'm enjoying playing it myself. I know. Why don't you join us? Sounds like an idea to me. I actually have a spare deck you could use. Would you like it? Man, Claire's giving her. Claire's giving us her burner deck. Just like the worst cards. You sure? Of course. The more the merrier. As long as you promise to play with this to pass the time. Of course. Yeah, my word. You better get those cards in order then. I'm expecting a good game or two now. Look forward to seeing what you're capable of. You can play against Ellie and Claire. You'll be able to play more uh, against more opponents in Vantage Masters as you progress through the story. Okay. You can also challenge opponents you've already defeated to rematch them from the... Okay. Wait, quick Vantage Masters? Nah, we, we know Vantage Masters. Yo, but a Bard Master? Nah, we got Knight. Let's go. We're never losing. Let the game begin. Okay, Giabro is new. I haven't seen that one. Giabro? Starter pack should have come with Beast. Oh, man. That'd be nuts. God, stop doing this! Cease this! <laughs> the most annoying player of all time versus the most annoying player of now. All right, we're sealing her ass. Fuck, they sealed my seal. Hey, all good. We're about to cook. <laughs> What's good against water, earth? I don't, oh. All right, we're just gonna get real strong. buffs for days. They finally did it. They sealed. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need fire on deck. And then... No! All good. We're just getting buff. We're just getting buff. Actually, we can just end it here. I'm just prolonging the game. <sighs> well played. Oh, these are neat. Oh, that's cool. So they have like a little, uh, a little, uh, info screen after you collect a new card. 
Sunbathe loving nasal that resembles a flattened fish, often seen drifting along the surface of the southern tropic waters. Uh, that of like fallen leaves. Let's begin. Wait, why does Claire's card look so? Yo, should I be concerned? <laughs> Oh, I misclicked. All good. Wait, it might not all be good. It might be bad, actually. A lot of water cards. All right, we come back. Inflict seal for one turn, I see. So that's how she's doing it. What the fuck did she just do? For sure! Pay to win ass deck. She can just snipe me. Oh, she's cooking. She's cooking. Ugh. This might be over.
It is over. But it's not over till it's over. And the victory it's over. is mine. All right, so that was my bad. I, I got a little too comfortable. What we got to do here? It was that first turn. That first turn screwed me. There's a hard mode rematch too. Oh. We'll be keeping our eyes out. I feel like I should give them two health just so they don't get like beamed. Yeah, like what is that ability they did there? That's scary. One second, phone call. Hello? It said, uh, it said that I missed the call, so I wonder if I uh, had my phone ringing earlier. <laughs> I didn't. Only, I only didn't hear it until like just now. And okay, maybe let's get. Probably get rid of this guy now. Put in this one. Wait, we win. <laughs> Let's go! Great game. Support magic with the power of water, said to contain the essence of a nation that could manipulate gravity. I bet we could fish here. Executing recovery program. I wonder what wacky fish we find in the right. rubbery corridor. This will be good.
Look at the size of this baby. Bye. -bye. This will be good. It's a nice catch. Bye. -bye. Crap. Bye. -bye. This will be good. It's a nice catch. You can find them all here, so you can't miss any. Bye -bye. Oh, okay. Crap. Bye. -bye. Crap. Bye. This will be good. Okay, yeah. If that's the case, I think I don't need to. I don't need a fish game too much. Look at the size of this baby. Let's see. Who else do we need to talk to? What's this combo? Hey, Lloyd, take a look at this. What's a tennis racket and violin doing here? We wish for them at the Millennial Trove and they popped out here. I was thinking that's nice since we're all stuck. Uh, I was thinking that since we're all stuck here, we could use it as a little distraction. Uh, really? Uh, I guess nothing's impossible inside this place. This probably falls under the Reverie Garden's optimizing stuff or whatever. Anyways, at least we don't have to worry about boredom trying to kill us in here too. Yeah, we should be able to cook, play music and sports, all kinds of other things. Let's go tell the others, see what we can, what else we can wish for. Well, at least they're keeping their spirits up. You know, if you can, like, just bring stuff back out from here, imagine just, like, wishing for, like, the most cracked out violin. Head back into Zamaria. Easy. Damn, you really, uh, chilled out since we first met, huh? You know, I was serious about recruiting you to the Intelligence Division. Had you dropped out of the branch campus. Jeez, and I thought I ran, uh... Randonur and Valestine's hard cells were crappy. Uh, who doesn't want to recruit me? Who doesn't want to recruit me? I was thinking about dropping out, but it turns out I'm surrounded by too many dumbasses that had, that'd be lost without me. Uh-huh, sure. You should be more honest with yourself for a change, but I'm happy for you. Enjoy your youth, kid. Your school days are some of the best of your life. So make some memories while you can, because you'll miss it once it's gone. Please. Like, I need to hear that from you. That's everything. Unsealing pedestal activated. I could do more gotcha. Nice. I'll hold on to it. Okay, yeah, that that's like activating neurons when I see that happen. Like that's dangerous. Do we want to do one more Vantage Master? Fuck it. Hear me it's out. quick, right? Hey, you're that Lloyd Bandings everyone's talking about, ain't ya? Wild Phil and Randolph won't shut up about you, like ever. Especially off of some na uh, big national hero. You're almost as famous for being a lady killer. Is that true? Uh, rumors of my philanderizing has been greatly exaggerated, I assure you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Schwarzer always, uh, always puts on the modest act, too. We all know the truth about that. Thank you for the warning. I'm not sure why that happens. I need to look into that. Thank you for letting me know. Must be faith that has me crossing paths with a real celebrity playboy like you. What do you say you and I sit down for a run of Vantage Masters, huh? There's plenty of chances to show off how strong we are elsewhere. But not so many to see uh, what really makes a man tick. You in? Oh. Tick. You in? Sure, that could be fun. I've certainly wanted a chance to get to know you better, seeing as you're Eunice's friend and one of Randy's own students. I doubt I'm quite as smooth a customer with these things as you, but hopefully we can still make for a decent match. It did get better, right? I did hit the restart. Let me do it one more time just to be sure. Bring it on! Sounds better. Awesome. Alright, we're preparing here, you know? Two. 
soon as we get a range unit in the back, like... Oh, never mind. Back. Welcome back, Jeremy. Hope you had a good one. Hmm. Yeah, we have been like side story gaming this entire time. <laughs> Give me a, a range unit already. I'm I'm struggling out here. GG What? For real? A disciple of darkness who lives and works in the city underbelly of the world, carrying out his missions with cold precision. In his spare time he pays visits to the legendary witch. So I've heard somewhere that um the Vantage Masters cards? They're actually like characters from like a different franchise from Falcom. Is that right? Review missions. Confirming rank oh, also, accumulated. Um, Liberation I, rank I saw changed. I saw recently that um Kondo is gonna be at AX this year. So this might be the first time I ever go to AX. <laughs> Transferring rank reward. I, I, I want to see his panel. Central core activated. We'll be there. Yeah, last year, I remember there was like some pretty big people showing up and like a lot of like directors and stuff. Uh, from like a lot of shows that I like, like if I recall correctly, the director for a movie called uh, Pompo the Cinephile was at AX last year, but uh, I ended up doing something else. Uh, I ended up kicking it with some friends out uh, out of the city. Uh, so we did miss out on that, but but man, if I get the chance to to uh, catch Condo AX, like. Maybe like Trails VAs or something? Um... Sheesh. Maybe peak. We'll be there. The Trails fans meetup. <laughs> or Falcom meetup. Considering I'm also playing uh, Yeast too. Hey Lloyd, what's up? Just checking in. You changed over to your casual clothes, Risha? Yeah, since the area seems to be safe for the most part. I'll change back when it's time to head into the corridor again. Your current outfit doesn't seem to provoke quite as much ogling, however. <laughs> Instructor Reen was rather flustered by your other attire when we met in the Geofront two years ago. Was he? That- that's, um... Altina? You know better than to make things up. <laughs> I almost forgot about that little run-in the four of us had.
Who could have imagined we'd be working together like this someday? We were crossbow's enemies at the time. But that doesn't- uh, that's not the case anymore. Everyone from Erebonia feels the same way you do. It's gonna take all of us working together to fix whatever's happening in the real world. No arguments for me. We'll be counting on you all. Rain does not beat the allegations, ever. <laughs> Alright, I think we're done here now. Re uh, leave the Reverie Corridor and resume Rain's story. Well, how are we doing for time? 10 o'clock? <sighs> we'll probably go for like a little bit longer. That way I can actually be a responsible human and eat dinner. Uh-huh. What were we doing just now? I feel certain that something significant just happened. Yeah, I can't recall what. I remember us meeting with Her Highness and Representative Regnitz and resuming our investigation, but... Have you ever checked out Cho uh, Tokyo Xanadu? Okay, I want to. It is on my Steam, uh, Steam wish list. I don't know if the one on Steam is the first one or how many there are, but I have looked at it. Tokyo, Xanadu, EX Plus. Yeah, and I've, I've really wanted to give it a try. Because it looks like it's kind of like East Combat, but like uh, in like modern day Tokyo. With a little bit of like a, oh, a little bit of like a Demon Flare type beat. So it seems like it'd be a fun, uh, a fun play. I do notice, though, that it doesn't have co-op. <laughs> Little thing, I guess. But I am playing Yeast in co-op, and that makes it pretty fun. The Switch version is a revamped translation. The OG one's pretty rough from what I heard. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it is getting, like, a, a new release uh, soon, right? Oh. Shush. Shush you. We're, we're going off the, the Tokyo Nani do Steam Store. <laughs> Um, if it does come out, uh, with a new, like, uh, localization and stuff like that, I'd probably be down to play it on Switch, assuming I get a Switch. Because uh, I really wanted a Switch, but, like, a part of me is like, man, the Switch has been out for how long? Since, like, 2015? Like, there's got to be a new console on the horizon, so, like, if I pick one up, how soon is it going to be where I'm like, oh, hey... We know you just bought the Switch, but, uh, here's, like, the Switch 2. <laughs> and check out all these games you won't be able to play because you don't own that one. Anyways. Switch 2, 2025 summer. <laughs> Hopium. Hopium, Copium. See, it's the same way for me and, like, um, I mean, I guess not really for the PS5. There's only, like, a handful of games I'd want to play on the PS5, like... Like Final Fantasy 16 and stuff, but I did kind of already watch a playthrough of that. <laughs> uh, and I'm not sure what else I would want to play on the PlayStation immediately. Uh, are we just about to get going, right? Right. Uh, that's the last thing I remember, too. But if that's the last thing we did, why does something feel so off? And why do I suddenly feel so much stronger? Maybe there's more to this mirror than meets the eye. Are you alright, Instructor? Sorry, I'm fine. Hmm. Let's go back to the investigation. We've got a lot of people depending on us for this. Right. Hopefully we can find at least one useful clue. But yeah, if Switch 2 comes out, and it's got like, um... God, it would be so, so nice if it had, um... Backwards compatibility with old Switch games. That is like my fingers crossed scenario. Switch 2 drops, I can play old Switch games and also like it'll support new ones. Like I'll have so much game, so many games to go through. Cause like, yeah, I've, I've wanted to play like Metroid Dread. Um, I wanted to play Pokemon. I wanted to play like the Mario games, Legend of Zelda. Like so many of those games that I like missed out on since I stopped following Nintendo by around the time Wii U dropped cuz I had I played GameCube, I played Wii and I didn't pick up a Wii U. If like we get that 
Oh my god, and then I would have like Xenoblades also too, right? Like, we would be set. <laughs> uh, the party's investigations then began anew. Rin's route has been suspended for- what? Other routes must be advanced further before this can continue. Okay, so I guess we're gonna like, see everyone react to like, seeing the mirror. And then... And then we keep going. Let's go see route. Okay, but I want to see if like it's Lloyd's route that's gonna be like, oh, uh, why do I feel stronger? Anyways, continue with C's route. <laughs> Weren't we just? Do I have a few screws loose, or does something feel off? It's like I just spaced out. Yeah, it's as if something doesn't add up. It's like my body suddenly feels different. I feel stronger. How's that possible? <laughs> Lloyd gets denser instead of stronger. Ah, uh, there must be more to this mirror than meets the eye. Is everything alright, Lloyd? Something on your mind? No, it's nothing. Nothing important, anyways. I'm more concerned about uh, what we're going to find at the ancient battlefield. Let's go. Man's got a point. Yes, we should be getting- uh, we should get anything we need from the village while we have the chance. You can now view the status of characters from Rin's story in the party menu. menu. Uh, you can also... You will also be able to view characters from Lloyd's story while playing Rin's story. This will allow you to check and move equipment across stories. You can also use LT to view your party you're using for the Reverie Corridor. Finally, characters you acquire by using gold ceiling stones will not directly join your teams in the real world. But they're still in orders. Okay. Okay, so we do got uh, Lloyd's route right now then, I think. In that case... In that case... God, I said it last time. I'll say it again. Lapis is so tiny. <laughs> it's so wild to be like a tiny character. Like she's got to go on her tippy toes to go over this, over this glass. If you eat in Reverie, do you come back with the calories? Picking up the crepes will cause the main story to advance. Heimdall will be inaccessible, as will any sub events to be seen. Okay, hold on. This... Seems like the right time for me to finally bring up the guide. I was not using the guide... At all? While we're going through the Reverie Corridor, so I hope I didn't miss anything. Uh, let's see... We did the Heimdall waterway. Then we were in Heimdall, we got the crepes. <laughs> Lapos fit in the 14 world, half the players are lawless. <laughs> yeah, she's very Lalafo sized. I mean, that's just to say that they're all like child sized, but. Uh, let's see. Uh. Okay. She's the oomphiest of them all. <laughs> she's- she's oomph-coded. She's, uh, the sea root designated oomph. Here you go. Two chocolate banana crepe special- uh, two chocolate banana crepe specials. Enjoy. You know, I've recently come around on bananas. I feel like a chocolate banana crepe has got to go hard. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> the urge to eat lapis is there. She's so puntable, but like, we won't because she's our daughter. You know, I might be kind of late in asking this, but are you all good? With what? Like, is it safe for you to be downing all this human food? Uh, you're not gonna break from one too many desserts, are you? I think it's fine. My body seems to be converting the food I consume into fuel to keep me energized. It's not as efficient as recharging with septium, but it's not terrible. You know... <sighs> okay, uh, quick little tune out. 
for Final Fantasy 14. Spoiler spoiler warning. Uh I mean, it's like such a small little detail. It's not even related like to the main story at all. But there's a character in 14 who um who is like the exact same way. Where like she gets her like energy from another method and then like eating food also she's like oh yeah that's fine it's just not as efficient <laughs> so i was just remembering 14. Huh. so you're voracious by design wait let me get this straight you can pick out all you want and not gain a single curum it just gives you energy you know all these games i don't think i've ever heard them talk about like weight this is the first time I've seen Kyurem mentioned. Like, even uh, when I was going through the Vantage Master cards, I saw that it was, like, listing Kyurem, too, and I was like, huh. That's the, like, first time I've ever noticed them say anything like that. Mm hmm Rosenberg dolls are made to retain their shape no matter the circumstances. Humans gain fat from eating too much food, though, don't they? Are you looking to gain some weight? Hmm... Uh... <laughs> I, uh, I'll be fine. I'm a growing girl with the metabolism of a horse. If I don't horse? eat like crazy, I won't get that extra vava boom that's sure to get S's love on lock. Horse mention, Uma Musume? <laughs> vava boom sounds nice. Good luck. Hmm. Why don't we walk and talk? They say that's the best way to enjoy food from a stall. All right, let's go. Since we're on our way, I read there's a real nice food spot along Vanker Street. Really? Then what are we waiting for? Let's... Huh? Ooh. She's smaller okay? than Milliam? She's fucking tiny. <laughs> I'm okay, thank you. Sorry about that. She can be a little clumsy. Aw, no worries. I'm just glad I could be her cushion so she wasn't hurt. Oh no, my crepe. But, but Nadia's Don't really foul for that. You can have mine, LP. Okay, never mind. It's all good. Are, are you sure? Of course I am. Anything to make you smile. Yay! Thank you again for catching me before I fell. No problem! Just try to watch your step from now on, okay? Huh? Oh, we get to see both routes? Remind me, where are we going again? We're trying to find the army rebel, uh, rebels represented Regnitz informed us about. Easier said than done. Not like they'll pop out of the woodworks to announce themselves around the capital. No kidding. It's gonna take some real footwork to track him down. But for now, it won't hurt to pay a visit to the guild since it's in operation again. Might be able to find a lead there. <gasps> oh, we're going to the guild! Yo, are we gonna find Sarah and Fee? Sarah Fee Tovo? It's worth a shot, yeah. If anyone's gonna have intel on the bra uh, rebels around here, it'll be a bracer. The closest branch is probably out east on Alto Street. Me and Sarah aren't there right now, though, right? Right. Certainly, it would have been. I would have hastened our inquiry if we were working with two people we knew. But it is what it is. No, <laughs> it's okay. We'll maybe see like a, another familiar bracer. This is the same pain I felt before. Reen, everything okay? Okay, we saw it. Since we're on our way, Vancouver, then what are we waiting for? You okay? I'm okay, thank you. Sorry about that. She can be a little clumsy. No worries. I'm just glad I could be her cushion so she wasn't hurt. This crossroad is beyond peak. Peak story mo moment incoming, but we might not get to it. Oh. Excuse me. Don't be sad, you can have mine, LP. Yeah. We we heard this. It, they should have kept the voices for that, too. Thank you again for catching me before I fell. No problem, just try to watch a step from now on, okay? 
The injustice done to the crepes. They seem rather close. They must be sisters. Well, if they are, then we gotta show them who comes out on top, right, Tilly? In what way? As sisters who love each other the mostest, that's what. Incoming! <laughs> hey, why'd you dodge me? I'm not gonna fall for the same trap twice in a day. So I can still hug you once a day. Good to know. That's not what I... Yo, has anyone checked in on Reen, though? Got a message from the Intelligence Division? Yes, it's a reply to the request I filed for materials related to the Imperial Army. Nothing at a glance strike me, uh, strikes to me as new, however. That's a bummer. Hey, wait a minute. I was on that request too, wasn't I? How come I didn't get a message? <gasps> That's strange now that you mention it. Maybe I just got distracted by your Arcus going off that I didn't notice? Let's see. Huh. <gasps> oh, shit! Wait, did she... Did she snatch Milliam's Arcus? What the? What the? You're kidding me. What's the matter, Milliam? My Arcus too. It's gone. I can't find it anywhere. Ah, oh, well shit. <laughs> Don't tell me you dropped it somewhere. Is it just me or does that sound bad? Oh, it's bad all right. Not only is that a custom model, it's up to your neck with all kinds of top secret info. It's got some securities at least, so not anyone should be able to access it, but still, not good. If someone wants to hack it badly enough, then that's what they'll do. Well, let's retrace our steps. Do you think you lost it at the hotel? No way, I definitely still had it on me when we left the lobby. Then you only could have lost it in a few last minutes. Hmm. It's obvious, isn't it? One of those kids swiped it earlier. Bet the one in purple pretended to trip and swiped it as soon as Milliam caught her. It couldn't be. Do you think those little girls could coordinate something like that? You seen Altina and Milliam? Sides, both of them are short enough that they'd be easy pickings for, the th uh, for theft by kids that small. I don't appreciate being called out for my size, but otherwise I agree. As much as I hate to believe it, uh, the most likely suspects here really are them. Indeed. There are no other options given the evidence at hand. Now for the real question. What reason could they possibly have for stealing it at all? Judging by their appearance, I doubt they intend to hold it for ransom. If they really did take it, they clearly more to, there's clearly more to them that meets the eye. Now all we can do is try to find them and get it back ASAP. But with the capital being so packed, I doubt we'll be able to find and follow them just like that. Got any ideas, maybe? <laughs> Don't worry. I know just the thing. As it just so happens, my Arcus has a special feature for emergencies like this. Oh, right. I do recall that feature. Are you talking about some kind of tracking device? She's got them air tags. <laughs> yep. Lucky for me, combat ornaments issued to agents come included with a special kind of transmitter. It's supposed to send out orbital waves every once in a while. It's a fucking air tag! <laughs> if you know a unit's code and frequency, and I know mine, then you can figure out where it is, no problem. Well, ain't that nice and convenient. I know, right? There's lots of other stuff that our units can do. I don't get to use them much, but they're still really cool. Personally, I think I would be more it would be more of a shock if idle equipment for agents didn't have precautions built in. <coughs> Guess we got our solution then, huh? No need to worry about searching all the crowds. That's right. Now what are we waiting for? Let's get my little buddy back. You think I could borrow yours until we find mine, Tilly? I don't see why not. Go ahead. Okay, tuning on, turning on tracking mode, narrowing down its location, and found it. The signal is coming from Banquet Street. Upon arriving at Banquet Street, Rena and the others split into two groups to look for their pair of girls. However, how'd it go? We searched all the stores on the eastern side, but to no avail. Same on the west. We even took turns watching people come and go outside, but nothing. Should we perhaps ask around? It's possible they might have already moved to another district. Uh, it might not be worth the time to take in that case. Agreed. The location signal should have updated momentarily anyways. Yep, right about... Right about... Now. They're in Draco's Plaza. Great, 
Let's hurry after him. They're not here either. Hold on, the location's data should update us in a sec. Okay, now they're on Alto Street. Man, they are moving. It feels like we're playing a game of cat and mouse here. Yeah, I wish it could update more often. This works well enough for when the target is standing still. But it isn't likely going to uh, be enough when they're so active. Ugh, this is hopeless. Should we split up and try to cover as many districts as possible then? Capital's too big for that. I think we'd spread ourselves too thin. And I've spent more uh, more time walking around the capital today than I've ever wanted. First it was Garnier District, then it was Vanquish Street. Now Draco's Plaza. I feel as though we walked exactly this route this morning. Now that you mention it... You're right! Eustace, you're a genius! I don't disagree, but what for? <laughs> Look at this! Is it like following their itinerary? It's quite a bound, uh, neatly bound magazine. It's the food issue of the super popular at home on- Oh! <gasps> because of the guidebook! Uh, the at home in Heimdall series. Yeah, but why are you bringing it up? Because it's a guidebook to all the best spots to eat in the city. It even lists rare seasonal food. Anybody who loves good food isn't gonna walk around here without this. Could you please get to the point? I'm getting there. So far, they've gone to the Garnier District, the Vanquish Street, uh, to Vanquish Street, to Draco's Plaza, and to Alto Street. And when we bumped into them, they were eating some crepes. I got, uh, uh, they were eating some crepes I got from the Garnier District. Which means, drumroll please. They're following the guidebook's top snacks on tour route. I'd know, because I started following the same one. <laughs> I hate how possible this actually sounds. Can we really afford to stake our success on such a silly sounding idea? <laughs> it might sound silly, but it's better than anything else we've got. I love how goofy they're they're playing into some of these things in this game. Like, they're adding so many like little sound effects and like animations for these characters. I just love it. Uh How about we try using that magazine to get one step ahead of them? Like, it adds so much life to it. They're really here. I knew it. I knew my gut was telling me something good. That I just happened to be hungry at the same time you bumped into them, yes. <laughs> or that I just happened to be hungry at the same time you bumped into them, yes. Shall we strike immediately? No, duh. I've got to make him pay for stealing my Arcus too. Don't do anything yet. Let's listen in on them for a bit. I want to know who they are. Aww. Well, if you say so. Can't believe we did the whole tour in half a day. Is it really so amazing? It's crazy. Just not as crazy as your crazy features. Makes me want to know what the old guy's got, got his sights set on. Anyways, we should meet up with the mask soon. Do we have to? I really like it here. Good, because we'll be back tonight to clean ourselves some muck and mire. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've come a long way from the old days. I always love the chibi sprites and the character portraits, but the three models are very good now. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Like, I think there was a, they, they were really good at making so many, like, different expressions back in, like, uh, Sky Azure. For sure. Uh, and now we're kind of at that same level of, like, the latter like expression list here too which is like really cool we love to see it like not to say that there weren't good expressions before but but like this is definitely next level you know they went and gave the game away just like that mask certainly has to refer to C while the muck and mire part must be in reference to the muck and mire that gathers in the vermilion city yeah they really said it huh <laughs> And those two must be members of the Reborn Imperial Liberation Front. Much as I'd rather not believe that two young girls like that are involved in terrorism. <laughs> Little Miss Cotton Candy sure made it sound like it was business as usual for her. Good work rolling in the big one, guys. Are we not going to follow them? She said their cleaning up was going to take place tonight. 
If we wait till then, we may be able to catch the rest of them at work as well. I agree. We don't want them noticing us and risk C not showing. It won't be long, but to, uh, it won't be long much longer. But tonight, we'll be that much closer to our next step. What is it, Nadia? Nothing. Just weighing out who the pre uh, who's the prey and who's the bait between us. Who's the what? Don't worry about it, LP. You don't need to understand. But I want to. Care to share what we accomplished? Sure thing. We actually got a lot done on our end. We found, uh, we found several of their bases in the city. Plus we figured out where they'll be meeting tonight. Nice work. And we gotta try a lot of good food. <laughs> well, it's a relief. I wasn't expecting anything from you. <laughs> it's a relief I wasn't expecting anything from you. Hey, that's rude. She managed to try almost all the city's best food in a single day. I'd call that a big accomplishment in my book. You know, I would love to do that. Now that I like thinking about it, like, God, if we, if I just had like a, just like a, a weekend or something, I just put away like a day where maybe I just go into the, like, go into like LA or something and just hit up a bunch of different spots and try a, a bunch of little things. That way we don't just like full send it on one restaurant and get to try a lot. That'd be fun. It would be if that was what we were here for. I hope we weren't slacking off with her. How much can your stomach handle? You know, honestly, not too much. I'm a bit of a light eater for uh, for a lot of things. Of course not. I worked so hard, S. You did not. We were playing around with me the whole time. Oh. What the fuck? I got an invite to Dota 2. See? I got my hands on Milliam and Ryan's Orcus- uh, Milliam and Ryan's Arcus 2. One of our targets. It's bound to be full of juicy info. What? When'd you get that? Time for Dota 2. <laughs> How much can I handle? There's always room for dessert. Honestly? I'm kind of very similar. Like, we, we got that second stomach for the dessert. Is Eli a Dota player? <laughs> Her name is Milliam. Wait, then the reason I tripped was... Yep, because I threw out some thread. How could you? That's so mean. I nabbed this when you bumped into her. That doesn't excuse ruining my crepe. What if I took you on another food venture to make up for it? Then all will be forgiven. <laughs> She's so oomph! You got the poor girl wrapped around your finger already, huh? It seems we've all accomplished a little, uh, something that- Uh, it seems we've all accomplished a little something then. I'd say so, yeah. So, all good. All good. The stage is set. We need only to wait for the curtains to rise. I've sworn off MOBAs for mobile games. You trade one villain for another. <laughs> then, let us begin. I don't know what you think you're up to, but we're <gasps> gonna put a stop to it. Consider your escape route blocked. Well, well. If it isn't the rabbits from the intelligence division. There's another three. No, five of them. You didn't Yo! Want to find us, Class 7. Not really. All we had to do was use the signal Yo! from my to track you. You don't have to unveil every little thing. Doesn't matter that she did. They wanted to lure us here. Oh. Ah, you figured it out, huh? Since you have been lured, it is time we introduced ourselves. I am C, leader of the Reborn Imperial Liberation Front. And I'm, uh, Noin, same group. <laughs> you can call me Dry then, I guess. Oh yeah, they were using these names, huh? Wait, huh? If you must address me, then call me Lep... Dolly! <laughs> Did you just snort at me? <laughs> Wait, I love them. I think it suits you. Look at our widow Dolly. Isn't she the cutest thing? <laughs> I knew dynamite came in small packages, <laughs> but now terrorists do too, huh? Is this truly the same group that captured me and her highness? No. They've borrowed their name at most. The original one's been disbanded for sure. 
What do you think reborn means? Just who are you, C? Maybe I don't know the answer to that just yet. But I do know it isn't the same as it was the first time around. It's just three kids and their funny uncle. <laughs> why tell you what half the fun is in the mystery? Tell us why you abducted His Highness and Lady Sherazard. And why you stole my Arcus too! And why you want us here! All valid inquiries. But we are not at school, and I am not your instructor. Do I have any guesses on who C could be? Yes. I have a pretty good idea, but the intro is kind of throwing me for a loop. I'm under no obligation to answer anything you ask. Because, like, in my mind, I think it's Rufus, but we saw them fighting in the intro. Oh, we get that. Because, like, they share the same VA. Like, I can't mistake that voice anywhere else, you know? And... I talked about it, like, making sense that, like, oh, okay, like, he's doing his thing in Crossbell to gather all the people that he needs to, like, you know, put down the flame. So, like, in a way, he is still, like, making, uh, doing his atonement. <laughs> You'll only wish you did after we beat the ever-living hell out of you. That could prove very effective, but only if you have enough strength to make good on your threat. Well... We'll show you we have more than enough! God, he looks so cool! <laughs> Try not to let your guards down. Get him, Dolly! Of course! They'll regret messing with me! Wait, Can't we're fighting- you read the room? <gasps> Wait, this song is crazy! This is so cool! Wait, I don't want to fight them! <laughs> Listen, Eva and Crystal! Blade of Expulsion? Oh, I didn't even- Oh wait, no, I didn't. I thought I didn't use a Brave Order for a second. Help them all! Oh, no. Now! We fight as one! Leave it I to me! Attack! Oh, no! Arcus, activate! I'm up! Hmm... Roar! It's peak! Here let's check! Now! This! Plan time two! Transform! Anton got recruited into Ouroboros, wanted to be a main character for so long. Nah, but Sharon's out. He wouldn't. Numbers up. Oh, okay. So we're in a little trouble now. If we're gonna lose reflex. Blazing sword. Numbers up. For mine. Yeah. My mind is clear. My blade empty. Now! Ah! Ash and flash! Shredded leaves! Well, we're kind of going off. Yo, if I was playing as C right now, I'd be so weak. Like, to have this happen to me, like, I'd have to put the game down. <laughs> Very well. Oh, they're all at percentage points. Fire. Wait, we're sword. almost done. Very Wait, well. we did that so fast. Blade of expulsion. <laughs> Help them all. Yeah. They're 
broken. Got it. Mm, I need a little nap. <sighs> You'll pay for this. Brace yourself. The only time you fought Rain was his Lloyd and Cold Steel 2, and some student fights. True. Blinding light. Gather in my blade. Iolus. Saber. <laughs> That's more like it. Darn it! We gotta go. Damn, too easy. <laughs> They're strong. Class seven's got the chops to back up their rep. But peak. up so soon, children. I was just taking five. Okay, okay. All right, hold up. Let me cook. Yo, how crazy would it be if we swap sides now, and we're playing as C, and we like absolutely dirt work these guys? We're only just getting started. Okay, time for round Yo! two. Yo! <laughs> There's no way left to run. Yeah. So you be ready for a fight. <laughs> Yo, that's so sick. Slay on sight. Criminal slay. All right. Oh, this is gonna be a harder fight, though, I think. Hmm. Restore allies. Hmm. <laughs> or maybe it won't be. Ask it for it. No choice. Here goes. God, Swin's ass break is just so cool. I love these swords. These swords are of those who lost their way. They cook so hard. They were in the kitchen. They made a they made a master meal. Yo, watch out! Yo, watch out! Hmm. No way, how come Elliot couldn't do that before? Oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I think we just get in there. How shall we play? Problem here, I was hoping to hit like a galleon for it, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm here for you. you be a I'll take you to a world of fantasy. No, the climate. Fuck, dude. This is the other end. Limited They're all getting you healed. All listening. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. No! <laughs> it's it's exactly how I do it. Fuck! Here I go. Okay. Huh. 
Or shall we play? You're up against the final boss, Elliot Craig. <laughs> Target locked. I might be able to break here. <laughs> Play with me. Over here. Poor thing. I've spotted you. Well then. Yo, my bad, gang. Bye-bye! <laughs> Come on, let's have ourselves a <gasps> dance. <laughs> ah, youch! I ain't done with you yet. Do you? <laughs> Sweet dreams. <laughs> I oh. said I'd keep her safe. I'm here You're for you. You new BFF. Oh. It's me. Yo, they're... They're dirt-working me! <laughs> Welcome to my tech detox! This is what Osborne was getting checked by? <laughs> Activate! Break the door! Calm as rain! Dog! No! Nah. Nah. I'm gone. Appreciate it. I shall. It's peak, though. Yeah, it is peak. Bro, why am I fighting for my life like this? I can't no. We got that damage reduction! Interesting. Elliot has to go, yeah. Good night. Let's go. Good luck. With pleasure. Yo, this might be it. I'd keep her safe. It's me. Yo, we might have to run that back. Interesting. How about this? Okay. All right, it's peak though. It's peak though. You're dealing with us. There's nowhere left to run. Yeah. So you be ready for a fight. I can't believe Ash called me out. This is round two, huh? Target locked. Keep at it. Too late. I'll take care of it. There, Mazel. Dark Requiem. On guard. Very well. Hmm. No choice. Here goes. I shall. Here I go. Welcome to my tech detox. My 
We need to like focus down. Here it goes. This is kind of working now. The temple, all right. Arcus, activate. Did Elliot just bonk me? I said I'd keep her safe. Brain. I yeah, Swin's downline is pretty, pretty shambles. Thinking, thinking. The doll sees all. Hmm. So this is what you do. All right. Is it worth? <laughs> Fuck it. We These send it. Are those who lost their way. You gotta back out for a bit. I'm giving it all I have. Here I come. Okay, okay. I see, I see the vision, but like, I'm dead. Who's got the most health? Let's see. Come on, let me start trying. Be okay, be okay, be okay. Sweet dreams. No, not the confusion. Oh fuck! I can't move. Man. Okay, time for round two. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's how we open. My turn. Maybe we analyze defense balanced down. The doll sees all hmm. So I'm this gone. is what you do. And then we jump in with No choice. 
Technically, it could have been anyone else. It might have been better to use someone else. We missed the crit. <laughs> we might knock someone out though. We won't. This is another dead deadline. <laughs> this is another dead run. Fuck. Thank you. Yo, class seven got hands! I misjudged you. Okay, time for round. I think my problem here is like. We need like Swin to stay up. And the crits are nice, I think. Target. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. Here it goes, me. The temple. Here goes. I said I'd keep her safe. All right. Oh, and I got rid of all my Zerum capsules, too. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. Okay, and Elliot's frozen. Maybe we can delay? No. They go enhanced, it's gonna be rough. Initiate a show we play. Arcus activates. The temple. Okay, and then we can mark. I wonder if critical increases Ready? the chance that like the S break hits crit. So if we do like this into this, into this, into this. Alright, team. <laughs> Falling back for the time being. I gotta back out for a bit. Oh, we're getting there. These swords are of those who lost their way. <laughs> we're getting there. Target lost. Keep at it. Do it. You're strong. Ready? Slay us, son. Criminal slay. Okay. Time to settle this. Destiny. Keep at it. Two <laughs> All right. Oh wait, not yet. Buffy. 
There we go. Maybe I should take a break. That was the run, let's go! Give my Arcus two back already! Yay! She's like, oh, just like that? You like the bomb I put inside. What? Millium! <laughs> Yo, that'd be crazy! What happened? <sighs> they got away. But to where? Hmm. Did the wind pick up now or something? Wait, I get what's going on. Hmm. They fled underground. Should we pursue them? Yes. After we update Representative Regnitz. They can't have gone far. Damn, that was peak as hell. <laughs> the wind mentioned guyish jump scare. These underground passages never uh, get any less gloomy. Feels as though this one has been seeing a lot of the use lately. Looks that way. Could C's group be using it as a hideout? That seems rather unlikely. Yeah. If that was the case, they probably wouldn't uh they probably wouldn't want to lure us down here. Let's keep going. I'm sure we'll find an answer further in. Agreed. But watch out. I can sense some pretty tough monsters down here. Damn judgment chase sequence. I hate to do it to you like this. But I think that's where I'ma have to end it for now. I think we made a lot of really good progress. Pretty Pretty peak ass moment to leave off, you know? <laughs> I gotta eat dinner. Ugh. Yeah, in any case though, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, as always, appreciate y'all sticking around, stopping by. Always appreciate the company. <laughs> I knew it, hey, great stream. Thanks for stopping by, brother, appreciate it. Anyways, yeah. GG's. Good night. Peace, peace. Have a good one.